Are we on? I think we're going. Okay. We are live. Yeah, hold on. And we're going. Hello, gamers. It's me, your friend Viperwave. And I have Bailey here. Or do I? Yeah. Hang on, let me just bring up the stream. Bailey is currently getting some water. He needs to. His face is dry. Whoops. Oh, I love watching Aramir. Oh, no, not a JavaScript error. Okay. Hang on. Alright, I'm back. Hello, gamers. Hello. We are live. Are streaming? Yes, oh, yes, we are. Oh. And New Vegas is being New Vegas. Hold on. Bazinga. Fallout, new gay boys. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Hello. I love you, Discord. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Heroin Chic Filler. Bailey, say hello. 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 Uh, let me turn on the fucking chat real quick. How do I. Yes. Copy the mode. The you... other one. Where the fuck? There it is. Expand. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I can see the chat. We're good. You're good? Perfect. Um, Perfect. Yes. Hello. Come, Groiper. Come, Groiper. Welcome. Nice. Hold on. Uh, it's still not fitting. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh. I don't know. Hold on, gamers. <laughs> that was the title screen. Hang on, I'm just kidding. The... Oh, okay. Whoa, we got the Hall of Mirrors going. Whoa. There we go. Now it's all set up. Okay, is Bailey loud enough, guys, or is Bailey too quiet? Can people hear me? People can hear. Hearable? Is Bailey listenable? Yes. Bit quiet. Okay, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just... Bit quiet. I'll move it. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. How does that? How does that sound? That sounds better to me, but better. maybe to the audience, you're still a little bit quiet. Hang on, I will. Can you guys hear Bailey uh, now? Is he loud? He's inside Jimmy Kimmel's am basement. I loud? So. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm in Jimmy Kimmel's basement. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm actually. Um, I'm actually not Bailey. I'm a different person. Yeah. They. Uh, they had me thrown. They had Bailey thrown into a um, with the, an FBI truck. Yeah. They got me under arrest for saying I, I or for saying uh, I, I didn't say this, mind you. Um, the, somebody else that's not me said that they would kill the president. Yeah. That, that maybe resulted in their Twitter getting taken down. That maybe resulted um, in that, and you know, you had to explain to them that you were doing irony, right? Yes, I explained it was entirely irony, uh, or I didn't. Somebody else did. Not me. I didn't tweet More that like I would kill the president. I would never say New that. Vegas you would never do that. Apparently that's illegal. <laughs> that's illegal. To, it's illegal to do that's, that. Hold on. <laughs> it's illegal to say you would kill the president, which is something that I just learned. I had no idea. <laughs> Somebody is mad that I didn't deliver on the maid outfit. Yeah, well. Explain. Explain, yes. I can explain. I can explain. Okay, so I, my, I ran out of shaving cream. I didn't have it for like several <laughs> weeks. I was not about to take pictures like that with hairy fucking legs. And so I finally got I finally got shaving cream today and I spent like an an, an hour and a half shaving my entire body. So now I can do it and I will do it after the stream. The maid picks are and coming, gamers. They, they are, are coming. They I are know. on their way. This, yes. this is the first stream. The first stream of the Biden administration. How do you feel, Bailey? I am. I just got I'm blown up. Lukewarm on it. I mean, it's pretty obvious that uh, probably nothing's gonna happen, really. But uh, I, I mean, I don't think he's gonna really do anything. Yeah. Like pro, pro anything. I'm pretty sure this is just like we're just gonna kind of sit in purgatory for like four years. <laughs> but, uh, I'm I'm happy that Trump is out of office. If that is what is being asked, I, I didn't want Trump to be in office again. Now, would I like it if both Kamala and Biden were maybe hit by a truck and and maybe Bernie got in somehow or somebody else in Minecraft? Bailey, you got to be careful. That... 
Hey, the... hey, I'm not saying I want them dead. I'm not saying that. Okay. I am not saying I would never say I want the president maybe dead. That's not what something I would okay. say. Okay. You, you guys you guys you didn't know. hear this, but I had to cut out Bailey's mic because he was talking about positions where you can fire mortars into the White House. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking, I love that skit. <laughs> Sending it to you like, oh my God, Bailey, you can't say this. People kept, I, I got sent it by like three people. It's such a good skit. It's great. Uh. Why does Skit You Know is so funny? It's I, great. I really want more like Skit's comedy what like them. What in the goddamn? Oh. Like, um, Harris pushing British, Biden down uh, a single sketch comedy. step, There's causing him to ragdoll. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, fucking somebody paid for it. Somebody what paid. It say? Said Biden ragdolling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's an image that I often think of. <laughs> yeah, it's just Biden. The, the image of Biden ragdolling is something I'm often thinking about. Just him. <laughs> Him falling like a Half-Life 2 character. I can't wait for him to come out in an iron lung for his first uh, speech. <laughs> he just rolls out. He's using text-to-speech. Yeah, they, they roll him out in fucking, uh, what's his name's wheelchair with, a, with the fucking text-to-speech voice. Yeah, <laughs> got him. He's, he's speaking like a robot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. He's speaking like a character in Space Station 13. <laughs> Fucking what's that name? Oh, I don't uh, know. The one where you can like, it, it's fucking, it's fun though. But uh, yeah, the fucking, I, I really, I pray, I pray he goes completely senile mid speech. Oh my god, it'd be so funny. He just, he's just got the Microsoft <laughs> Sam voice. <laughs> soy, 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 soy. soy. Yes, it is Moonbase Alpha. That's exactly the Moonbase Alpha. Um, yes. Yes, and uh, you know I. I'm very excited to, because he's already won, right? So we don't really I, have to worry about it. I think he has. It, it, well, they might lose it in the courts. That's what happened with Bush. But I don't know. Ooh, that'd be bad. Ooh, that's a bad or thought. If they found, like, evidence of uh, evidence of corruption. Did you, have you seen the graph? Uh, I forgot what state it was. No. But it's the one that everybody was talking about with the corruption thing. Yeah. Um, It's a big, there's, like, it goes... Uh, it's like a pretty steady uptick, and then Biden just has a massive vote. <laughs> <laughs> and then it keeps going. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, it's possible, I guess. Why are the it's numbers possible. going up? Just counted, like, <laughs> Someone just forgot to count. Spacer, what do they mean? Jared, why are the numbers oh, going up? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... It'll be very funny if it turns out that there was a, a big scheme of corruption, which God. honestly I wouldn't doubt. That would be pretty funny, um, admittedly. I mean, even if there was, I don't think anything would happen. Because wasn't there corruption found in the Trump election? Probably. Like, nothing yeah, happened. nothing fucking happened. It's like, it doesn't even matter at this point. It, give a shit. The people that are going, the people that, like, were doing the corruption are the ones that, like, would, like, control that. So it's not like anything's going to happen. Somehow it's the Russians. They're going to put... Have you seen the people saying, like, they're going to put us in camps. They're going to turn us into sissies. <laughs> yes, I love that. Uh, yeah, everyone. Dude, Paul went mad yesterday. <laughs> everyone start <laughs> investing in estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> invest in estrogen. Invest in estrogen. <laughs> All right, gamers. Uh, that's so funny. It's fucking hilarious. People just being like, oh, I guess I'll transition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's time to start repressing. Oh dear. Uh, it's um very funny. I I um I hope you know. Well, I don't hope that because we're gonna have a lot of. If that is true, we're gonna have a lot of um uh very racist. M well, more racist uh, trans people in the next coming years. My God. Yeah, we have plenty of race of trans people. Be prepared. <laughs> it's like everyone. <laughs> what if everyone was cafe beef? <laughs> <laughs> I am not trans. I just want FFS, and I also want to get my Adam's apple removed, and I also want to get this, and I also want to get this and this and this, and I also want to get my dick chopped off. But I'm not. Listen, I'm not trans. Listen to me. Somebody said transgender. Transgender. <laughs> 
I'm not trans. I'm bringing all new. I'm bringing new meaning to the term e boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Um. The good thing about having a new account now is uh, Cafe Beef doesn't follow me. Oh my god, I was watching, you were posting yeah. like selfies and stuff, and like going through the hits, and I was just mm -hmm. thinking like, do you, like your new audience is going to be all like 50 year old finance guys who are single. <laughs> it's like instead of cool people. <laughs> It's not going to be anybody cool. No, that's what I was, like, worried about. Just make enough bait tweets to get rid of them. Oh, my God. Just start being like, okay, listen, here's what we need to... Here's how Bernie can still win. <laughs> They're just like, that, that's right, kitten. So far... <laughs> oh, my fucking... Um, my friend... Uh, I don't know if you know him, but their Twitter handle is, like, Bernie TXT or something. Yeah. Or like, Bedhead Bernie or something. I think I've seen that account, and, yeah. Um, he's cool. Uh, but um, he... We were talking about my account deletion, and he was like, "Oh yeah, um, I I tweet a couple of years ago. He tweeted at uh, at FBI, uh, <laughs> I'm going to kill you all." <laughs> and his account got taken down, and then he got called into his high the high school like office, and the fucking FBI was there. Oh my and god! Was, and I was like, "Oh, so I'm about to get visited. I'm about to get abducted. You're about <laughs> to get van, dude." <laughs> we know yeah, we I honestly I hope I get van. <laughs> they just like we have these pictures of you. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I know. I I posted if the those. FBI kidnaps me and... Imagine if the FBI kidnaps me and force force fems me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to be they're just like shooting like estrogen into your neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sons of bitches. <laughs> no. Captain <laughs> 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 videos. They're just taking you to like the the MK Ultra facility. We're, we're gonna do this. <laughs> oh oh um, it was. Did, did you tell me about this with the uh, the Unabomber used to want to be trans? Yeah no he he was a he was a he, he, he was a uh, repressor. Based. A hundred percent. incredibly based. Yeah, no, uh, I think transitioning would have saved it. I think there's a theory that Elliot Roger was a repressor, too. Elliot Roger is like, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to say he's attractive because I wouldn't have <laughs> sex with him, but he is fundamentally, fundamentally on like a base level, there would be a woman who would want to have sex with him. The problem is he is so socially inept that nobody wanted to have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. There's no way, hey, dude. I know people that look like fucking like literal like chimp people. Like they have the facial proportions of like a chimp. Yeah. And, and people have sex with them. It's not hard. It isn't sex hard. Sex is not that hard. It is net. Yeah, just get a grinder account. Have you oh, seen? Have somebody you... said he's just autistic. <laughs> he was just autistic. Yes, he was. Would transitioning <laughs> have saved her? Did you see the theories that Kurt Cobain <laughs> might have been like repressing? I fucking hate that shit. That might be a meme. I have, I have seen those. I think those are it's, just... No, no. I mean, it's probably, maybe, possibly true. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, the concept that is true. But there were, like, three people. There's this trans comic book artist that's kind of obnoxious. Oh. And tweeted out on, like, Kurt Cobain's birthday that he was trans. <laughs> what? Like, or that they were trans. And and they kept defending it in the comments, and I was like, I don't. <laughs> this feels weird to me. The concept, and I was like, they are dead. The concept of just doubling down on it. Himself. Yeah, they said the reason they killed themselves was because they were trans. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you need to chill. <laughs> Please calm down. You need to get off the internet for a minute. Oh my Please. god. Are are the Wachowski sisters actually trans? <laughs> I would, you know, it'd be very funny. The reason why I don't think The Matrix is, um, is, uh, tr like, trans art is because it doesn't have, like, a full 30-minute segment of just sissy hypno. <laughs> it's just Neo okay. Why does my asshole hurt? Because you've never used it before. Were you looking at me? Were you looking at me, Neo? Or were you looking at the boy in the hoodie? <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> the Smith. Oh my God! What if instead of the instead of the red pill and the blue pill, it's poppers? <laughs> Your ass is looser than ever, Neo. <laughs> Your ass 
feels looser than ever, Neo. <laughs> I've heard of, like straight, oh, like straight oh, people, faggot. straight people <laughs> taking poppers recreationally now. It's like, what do you need to be that loose for? <laughs> I think I saw, um, you know, those like, uh, those like male, you know, fucking testosterone shit. That yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Like to when they hit like thirty to keep their fucking vitals up and shit. Like out Al- the shit Alex Jones sells. Oh yeah. I think I saw one of those, but it was just poppers. <laughs> and they were selling it. it as like a brain, like brain fast shit. Oh my like, god. Your brain up to date with it. Just snort it, and it's like poppers. I was like, oh my god, you're making them gay. <laughs> my ass has never been <laughs> looser. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> my ass has never been looser. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Uh, I can well, I can think faster than ever. <laughs> oh, I'm just getting killed over and over. <laughs> We're gonna reach into your ass and rearrange your spine. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, weird question. Did you um, have you have you ever had sex with somebody on poppers, Rocky? No, I have not. That does sound interesting. <laughs> That must be like, what is that? Like sticking your dick into a bowl of mashed potatoes. What what does that feel like? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> that just be... like just, I don't think it would be that loose. Dude. No, I'm just trying to imagine. I, really hope, I hope it's not just sticking your dick into a plastic bag. <laughs> that sounds fucked. She got that, got that plastic <laughs> bag, pussy. <laughs> Boy, your ass feeling like a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> they call it. They call him Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You, okay, you can either take the blue pill and return to your, to reality, or, or return to your mundane life. Or you can take the poppers. <laughs> and let me fuck you. You can become loose. <laughs> There's like no matrix at all. It's Neo, just a man trying you. to fuck him. Neo, let me have sex with you. Neo, you're about to become looser than you've ever been before. <laughs> I was, uh, I was imagining like a, the, like the matrix, but the agents are just boy motors. <laughs> And they're like that one, the, the fight in Matrix Reloaded where he's fighting like a hundred of them, but it's just boy motors trying to steal his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I wanted to draw that, but like. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You think that's a boy in a hoodie? Look again. <laughs> Smith versus Neo from Reloaded, but Smith puts his hands in Neo's ass. <laughs> He's all popped up. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! He just gets like he gets his hand in like past the elbow, and Morpheus is just like, "He's the one." <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the character that we're role playing is a uh, gay man with imposter syndrome. <laughs> Why are these guys in their underwear? That's just how. Uh, oh, they're it's a slave. No, I thought it was a slave. I guess not. I think it's just a glitch. Wow. <laughs> a stim packs are pretty hard to find. Now. That's fucking bizarre. Hmm. <laughs> bizarre, ain't it? Hail to the king, baby. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Bringing you more oh. Jewish excellence. <laughs> You're gonna get fucking banned. Hey, I, I did this. There was a Twitch admin in here the other day. We were, we were like, scared. Based. That's awesome. I could hear hostage. I could hear hostage killer like fear in his voice. <laughs> Please stop doing Jewish accents. I'm dialing. T- I'm doing the Woody Allen voice. I'm not being an anti-Semite. It's Hello. just. It's just a fun voice to do. I'm sorry. Hello. 
<laughs> I hope Jewish excellence <laughs> cool, Adam. <laughs> How do... Oh, fuck. Cool Adam is just Adam. Adam is cool. Adam is very the cool. Gift, the, the fucking Wiccan, or what's her name? The, uh, the Witten? Good old Witten, the yeah. Witten, yeah. I like the, the yeah. Witten. Witten is just Saki at the end of uh, Emergence, which I like. <laughs> mm. Have you ever read that? <laughs> Emergence? Yes, I have, and it's horrific. I hate that fucking story. I hate it I hate too. Emergence. I didn't read the whole thing, but I did read like I I I went and I saw what was happening, and I just decided to not read it. But I saw the full story. I was only it's joking. Horrific. It is horrific. I do think it's very interesting how um how like. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm going to come off as a massive weeb faggot if I say this. But like, uh, the worst kind of faggot. Fucking, yes, exactly. Um, Japanese, uh, like, like, doujin and shit has a strange amount. Uh, there are a strange amount of doujins that genuinely make me, like, like sappy. Like, really? make me cry. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know why that is. Yeah. We're gonna drink the American porn doesn't do that. We're gonna drink the Jake juice. Yes. <laughs> drink the Jake juice. Drink Jake's fluids. <laughs> uh, fucking there are a lot of uh what's it called? Like I don't know, not trap dogens, no, but like um like like trans dogens that are genuinely sad that makes me very very sad. Aww. They're sad. good. It's weird. It's it's um because, like I said, you don't see that in, like, American porn at all. I'm getting real emotional you watching know. the porno. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to get cr to cry while you're watching the porn. <laughs> Sometimes, honey, it's okay to, get to cry while you're watching porn. <laughs> it's all right. I hope we get to a day when we can show porno in a, in a full theater and it's just a, ro it's a very sad romance movie. Those are called European that's, films. That's beautiful. That's, true. <laughs> That's every movie made in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Europeans are gay. They are all Just all of them. All of them by default. Yes, British people are the worst. Remove Britain. Cut it off. Get rid of it. I no more of that, please. Get rid of it. Take it. Throw it away. Fuck Britain. No more of that, please. I say to Britain. No more Britain, please. Uh, did you see, did you go through poll yesterday? Uh, I haven't, I actually have 4chan blocks, so I don't go on it anymore. <laughs> I was, like, trying to break All the right, habit years fair. ago. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want to go on that's here probably anymore. healthy. Uh, I don't use 4chan, like, at all. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will go, if somebody tells me that I have been posted to LGBT, I will check it. And that has <laughs> happened a strange amount of times. Um, and if, if like, a, an election is going on or something big politically has happened, I will check poll. You will oh, always. I love that you keep getting posted on LGBT. <laughs> it's very funny. I didn't think it would happen, but apparently, it, apparently I'm base enough to where poll or LGBT doesn't hate me, which is funny. <laughs> I feel like I'm less based than, like, because, um... There's, uh, I've already talked about them, but there's a person named Willow who, uh, gets posted to LGBT a lot. Yep. But most of it is, like, hate. Oh. it's, like, I don't know why, because they're, like, they're, like, a fortune. They, they seem like somebody that would be popular on 4chan. Mm hmm They are edgy. They are so fucking edgy. That's the good and shit. yet 4chan seems to hate them, specifically LGBT. Uh, oh, what is the guest's Twitter at, by the way? you need, Yeah, you gotta show your, your new Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to fucking show my Twitter. Um, it is, uh, the, 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 it's punished post, or at punished post. Mm -hmm. Um, no numbers, no, no caps, no nothing. No nothing. Uh, oh, somebody, yeah, somebody posted, um, do I pass on the LGBT <laughs> and posted a selfie of me, but it was like, the worst picture I took, I had taken of myself, and it was intentionally bad. It like I had like my face stretched out and shit. <laughs> I was holding my hair back so you could see my my fucking hairline. Oh god! And, and, and they posted me, and it was like, wow, why would you do that? <laughs> Did they say yes? <laughs> I mean, a couple people said yeah. A couple people said, uh, 
somebody drew a diagram and t- drew like a red line on my head and was like, no, <laughs> look at that receding hairline. Look at and that I'm skull like, shape. I don't have, I, I don't think I have a receding hairline. My hairline's just fucked up. Oh no, you have I nice hair. My hairline's just retarded. I have, uh, yeah, I do have, I, I'd say I have pretty good hair now. Um, you got that it's floof. It's just, uh, a lot of people do, like, um, shampoo, like, every day. Shampoo, you shampoo, like, every three days. Mm, and yeah. Then, uh, fucking condition it every day. And that's how you get that shit good. I've got good hair now, thanks to that advice, yeah. Yes, you, you actually do have very good hair. Thank you. Um, your hair is very nice. Thank you. Uh, it, it brings back, like, the bounce to your... It's fluffy now, which like is a bit odd. Flattish shit. Yeah, exactly. I like that, though. I like having fluffy hair. You don't want it. Hell yeah. Um, the only times that I hate having long hair is when I'm, like, doing anything active. It gets in your head. Like, yeah, yeah, when you run, it. like, does it just get in your eyes all the time? Yeah, it's why I... Now I've, I've been going to the gym, and whenever I go to the gym, I have to fucking put, like, a, a fucking, uh, like, in, not a ponytail, but, like, a man bun at the, up at the top. Yeah. Like, not even a bun, just, like, a fucking little, like... It looks so stupid, but <laughs> it works. And also, I don't really care how I look in the gym since I'm, like, sweating my ass off and I look like a fucking dipshit anyway, so who cares? Give us the shampoo but, uh, pill. What do you use? Uh, I use whatever's... I. My roommate's not in here, so I use whatever he's using because I don't want to buy shampoo because <laughs> I can't afford it. Face. <laughs> I don't have any money. Hell yes. That's why... Uh, that's why, if for only twelve dollars, you can donate to my OnlyFans and get. <laughs> <laughs> the guest does not, in fact, have an OnlyFans. I do not. I do not. I don't think I would be invited if I did. <laughs> no, no, we, we would. I don't think we would bring you on. Hey, everybody, check we, out the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, yo, check out my OnlyFans, bro. Hey, bro. Um, what's up? I just bought a house. I, I hate having an Only, or I hate, or I don't hate. OnlyFans, but I hate being told to have an OnlyFans. Sounds bleak. I don't like it. Bro, what is happening with this ghoul? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, hold on. Let me look. Whoa! Damn. Holy fuck. Looks like a big lime. Hey, bro. Limes. Dude's got that big old head. <laughs> Yo! It's not even fun. Yo! I just killed the game! <laughs> Yo! Oh no, the fucking game just... Wait, ah! No! no, wait a minute. No, that was that was Discord. Wait, did <laughs> the game didn't crash. That was just Discord shitting itself. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Christ. still there. Hang on. The message is still there. Yeah, I can still. The fuck off, Dis. Go away. I don't. Ah! What the fuck is this? God, this is, um, this is annoying. I don't know what this is. What the fuck? It's, it's a fucking Java screen here on the screen forever now. Clo- okay, hold on. I gotta close and restart <laughs> Discord. Hold on, Bailey. Okay. What the fuck? Discord is such a piece of shit. God. Close! Oh. Excuse me, gamers. That's just Discord being Discord, gamers. Oh. Hold on just a sec. I'll get Bailey back in. Oh, oh my god, how annoying. Excuse me. You're good. 
Are we good? Oh, that was annoying. Working? It's working. Perfect. Perfect. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, it was fucking great. I love it when my computer just decides to not work. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It's the best. My computer, shit itself. my computer is shitting its pants, and it's all because I touched that ghoul. <laughs> my computer is shitting itself. Is the audio back or what? Hang on. Audio. Oh no. Let me ch check. Yeah, check that shit. I don't hear anything. No, we're just getting one guide. One guy always has a fucking problem with like shit. Oh, okay. Is yeah, there's one guy who's always like, yeah, I forgot to turn my monitor on and I can't see anything. <laughs> I, I forgot to turn my computer on. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i not seeing anything, guys. I, I'm, not, I'm not facing the screen. My computer no work. My computer, my computer's just not working. Well, it's me, I'm one guying. Uh, stream's not working. My computer's dying. <laughs> Please, excuse me, my house is on fire, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's in the Twitch chat being like, my, uh, there's like, it's my gas, uh, leak alarm is going off. Is, can you fix the stream, please? Can, I, <laughs> can anyone else smell gas? <laughs> <laughs> my, the left side of my face no longer works. What's wrong? <laughs> What's up with the stream right now? <laughs> Hello? Um... What's Boone doing? Oh god, it's a mole rat. D does anybody else smell toast? <laughs> does anybody yeah, else? Somebody else, somebody said I'm smelling burnt toast. <laughs> <laughs> anybody smell cinnamon rolls? <laughs> please, streamer, please fix. Oh, fuck. That's the good shit. Now these guys are wearing clothes. Mm. My favorite type of ghoul. Mm. Mm. Ghouls. Mm. Oh, me. <laughs> Guys, uh, my plane's been hijacked and it's heading towards New York. Uh, streamer, can you fix? <laughs> my plane appears to have been hijacked. <laughs> uh, pilot? Someone is holding a box cutter to my face. Oh, there's Cazadors over there. I don't want to go over there. Uh, Hello, admin? Mm -hmm. Hello, admin? Uh, somebody's breaking down my door and is holding a gun up to my head. Can <laughs> you please fix? Uh, admin, hello? Uh, oh, shit. Oh. Can you fix the stream? My penis isn't getting off. <laughs> my penis, my penis is falling off. Admin. <laughs> calling, calling for flight to be free. Wow. Some white woman is calling oh, the cops. Because she, cause she's hearing Arabic. <laughs> These uh, admin, somebody's fucking me in the ass. Uh, please fix. Admin, can you please fix admin. this? Evan, I'm in Boston and there's bodies everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I was, oh god. Bailey, one of the things I imagine is like, Damn. it's like Forrest Gump in situations like that. It's like he hears bombs at the finish line at the Boston Marathon. He's like, I just started running. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like running away. I don't know why, I just I just, so <laughs> I just started running. I just started running. Oh, man. Uh, imagine... Okay, guys, I have a concept for a movie. Forrest Gump remake, yeah. but he's not retarded. <laughs> and also, they're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the concept of the film? They're just a woman? <laughs> Forrest Gump, but they are a woman and not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Time to learn her story. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm very excited. This is the good shit. Oh, the Forrest Gump sequel. 
school, but it just follows the girl who gave Forrest Gump AIDS. <laughs> but she died of AIDS. <laughs> yeah, after giving Forrest AIDS. <laughs> Because Forrest retard AIDS. <laughs> Yo, fucked. I'm afraid your wife has what we call retard pussy. <laughs> yo, yo, your wife got retard. I'm afraid that pussy <laughs> was so good it made him retarded. <laughs> imagine, imagine fucking you. You're eating a girl out, and you pull, you fucking pull your tongue out, and all of a sudden your brain just half of it's half of it stops working. Oh, oh god! Your brain just slows down. Your brain just stops. Like, oh, your your face just starts sagging. So good. <laughs> pussy was so good it maybe retarded. That, that pussy, <laughs> pussy got me acting strange. You just you like half your face is sagging. You know, I probably shouldn't tweet out Forrest Gump remake, but they are retarded and are a woman. That probably. <laughs> I think the concept needs a little I'm bit of work. <laughs> You're deleting that, but you post. <laughs> you post like... Like the MGM. <laughs> oh fuck! That's one for the boys chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yo, okay, I gotta tell you about this shit, bro. So I I don't know if, I don't think you told me about this but somebody else I think my roommate did yeah but it's like um so there's this modeling agency or like modeling a there's this modeling scam mm. in air quotes yeah they take like women and they fly them to like I think like Vegas or maybe L A or some shit mm -hmm. they like promise to model right um, and they get them there and then they're like all right time to do por it's like it's basically like they're like all right time to do porn like uh they go all right you're gonna shoot porn with us now and they're like what what do you mean i came here for modeling and yeah like, you paid for all this other shit you paid for your flight oh you have to do porn that's it's awful fucked. that sounds awful it's really fucked yeah the porn industry is fucked dude it the don't porn sound good is 100 fucked. It sounds evil it is it's very evil what made you segue into that you just brought that up <laughs> damn bro that's fucked that's all i can say to that it's like damn <laughs> Yo, hang on, did the stream crash? No, I'm still talking to you. Oh, did it? No. I think people just... Did it work? I think so. Did it? Twitch just being Twitch, It'd maybe? Be fucked if it did. That would be pretty fucked up. Yeah. I don't think it did, I'm still... It's lagging real bad for me. Oh, hang on. Twitch is just being Twitch. Hold on. Twitch being Fuck. Twitch. Okay, then yeah. Fuck. Ugh. Damn, Twitch, why are you being like that? Hang on. Just for bitches. Hold on. Uh, Twitch gonna Twitch. <laughs> How about now? No, that's Twitch, because I'm still online, and I'm still talking to Bailey. Okay. So it's so not it's my- it's Twitch- it's Twitch being shitty. Sorry, guys. Please- yeah, Bailey was talking so passionately about the porn industry that, uh, that killed the Twitch servers. Twitch- Twitch- shut it down! Shut Stop, it down he's- he's telling the truth! Stop it! Hentai is the, the plug. <laughs> He was talking about how hentai was the only ethical form of pornography. <laughs> no, no, I never said that. You did, Bailey. We all heard it. I have a lot of good friends. I have a lot of good friends that do porn. They just don't. They aren't in the porn industry. That's most of them aren't. That's fine, I guess. That's that's much better than than being in the actual industry. <laughs> all, the, all of the bad shit that is related to OnlyFans, you know, there's there's plenty of bad shit about it, but at least it keeps people from fucking going into the industry. That's, I funny. mean, I guess. I mean, ki uh, kind of, to a certain degree. It seems like its uh, own kind of trap, in a way. It is, it is its own kind of trap. You know, getting, you get kind of, um, trap. I, I, I don't like the idea of commodifying my own body like like that it's to that extent yeah like you got like I wouldn't like it if I had to log on and be like hey everybody it's me base trap yeah. boy and you just have to be that yeah. that kind of thing yeah. if I 
If I do it like I'm doing it now, I can delete my shit whenever I want and people won't get mad. Yeah. Which is fine with me. I don't really care. That's the good shit. Yeah, we will probably do a quest. I, do I want to do the, the the ghouls going to space one? That one's a bit dull. The good shit. Do it. 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 Watch this. No. Okay, fine. Do it. I was going to go all the way to Vegas. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do you think that Star Wars prequel memes are like Disney astroturfing? This is it's Maybe? it's it's paranoia that I've been having. Is is it ethical to enjoy those memes? You know, it's possible can't it's trust myself either. Possible. I don't doubt that a lot of, um, I, that video of the dude crying over the fucking star <laughs> is still so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like his child died. Oh my god, it's, it's all the things I recognize. I'm on, on, my fighter! <laughs> He's like hyperventilating with tears in his eyes. <laughs> So gross, dude. He's fucking nasty. He's like, my wife, my wife right now is uh, going to get a back massage and get her back blown out by another man. My <laughs> wife is I'm, my. Uh, I'm. Uh, it's my kind wife of. Is getting fucked in the ass while I watch the Star Wars. It's trailer. it's a little weird that she took her personal trailer on her her personal trainer on her uh, trip to India, but. <laughs> The fact that he, like, rented a hotel room so he could be somewhere safe to react to the trailer is one of the funniest aspects of that. <laughs> it's so funny. He's in a hotel room. <laughs> it's so funny. He's in a hotel He did it again, too. <laughs> the second one afterwards. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's a... So oh, funny. There's a joke that I do Somebody about these his people. His name is Eric Butts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the graphics. They didn't forget to put in the graphics. <laughs> You're just like crying. I'm gonna shit myself. Oh. If, if they announce Fallout New Vegas 2, I will I will do a video recording of me doing that and shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just fucking diarying the bed. <laughs> like, I will wear a diaper and I will I will fucking film myself doing it. I love <laughs> <laughs> Just a reaction video, but you're like projectile shitting yourself. <laughs> I've got a shit cam. I have a fucking face cam and a shit cam. <laughs> Let's see that again on the blam cam. <laughs> Just like in slow motion. Wait, wait, can we get that reverse? And it's just so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. They're all shitting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> These britches have been soiled. Oh, the These britches have been soiled. <laughs> Good sir. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Just. God. Just watching people get excited for fucking Star Wars. They're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like crying. It's my childhood. Obi Wan. <laughs> the best part of my life was between nine and fifteen. I'm thirty six. You're telling me. <laughs> You're telling me they put the puppet Yoda in the movie. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just making fucking. I'm gonna shit myself. Just making like monkey noises and like hitting your head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh. I'm, I'm banging my head against the fucking wall. <laughs> Just like walking around on your knuckles again. You're you're devolving back into an ape. <laughs> Banging a bone up and down. I'm going to fuck. What, what's her name? Fucking Stu, Susan Wojcicki or whatever her name is. I don't know. The chick that's the, the head of Disney right now. I don't know. The, the Disney like lady. The one that everybody gets mad at. <laughs> I, uh, simultaneously, I believe that the pe that 
whatever that guy's name is, his name's like Mauler or something on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. He made like a 10 hour video or like several, like three hour videos on Star Wars. What? Like, you could have. He made like several three hours videos shitting on Star Wars. And I was like, you could. You need to chill. Oh, like, they were like, yeah, I'm gonna, down, I'm gonna bro. critique the Last Jedi, and it's like 11 hours long. And it's like, man, just yeah, it's a fucking two-hour movie, dude. I for, I forgot it. half that film on the drive home. I don't care. I don't and care I, that it ruins Star Wars. I will literally, I, I can go home and just watch the movie. Yeah, Tom, Tomics is right. It's Mauler. I, I don't hate them. I don't know, like, really what what they do for like. YouTube or whatever the fuck, but I, I just saw like part one, part two, part three, oh. Star Wars critique, and it's like each video is like three hours. I'm like, I'm good, dude. I don't think I need that I much. That. I it's like it's like a yeah. Christopher Nolan movie where I just forget it on the way home. Except for Tenet, that changed my life. I have not watched Tenet yet. <laughs> don't watch Tenet, so Bailey. So I, I don't know how you'll react is it to bad? it. I walked out of it, dude. Do, do you not know what the relationship between me and Tenet is? No, I do. I do. Ten. I forgot. I forgot what it was. I thought you were okay. I, what I got mixed up was whether you were high on LSD before or after. Tenet is the reason why you are here right now. <laughs> it's because it it fundamentally <laughs> changed me. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. I'm the only one who got to experience the film properly. I remember following you for like a long ass time, and I'd like tweet at you occasionally about Come Town and shit. Yeah. And then, and then you followed me back, and you were like the the fucking. I was like, wow, you are gay. <laughs> You're really gay. <laughs> it was just an elaborate bit that I was doing. Like, people, I didn't know this. people still think I was like thought I was doing a bit for like a month. It's it's awesome in my opinion. Uh, I think I think it's a great arc. Well, thank <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it, it's quite something, isn't it? I think the ultimate peak in sexuality is when it's just like I will have sex with whatever if it is attractive to me and consents and is of legal age and you know can consent. Pans that is, that is yeah. the ultimate. That's peak sexuality. Pansexuality is the natural state. Yeah. I I think yeah, pansexuality is the natural state, and I'm gonna say that right now. If you are a guy and you you are straight, I guarantee you that you will find a guy eventually. Like. There is probably a guy that exists in the universe that is attractive to you. My goodness. Like, that you would have sex with. Like, 100%. I can guarantee that. I know that because my roommate, who's super straight, really wants to fuck Harry Styles. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he wants to fuck you. I was like, oh, where's this going? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 My roommate does not want to fuck me. Bailey, so I, like... I maybe... Yeah, your your posts do numbers. Your posts do numbers, and it's like, do you ha do you have like people in real life who are like, hey, wait a minute? Yes, I do. Oh, I, I have a um, a guy bullied me, or he didn't bully me. We we're like friends, but it's like a weird type of friendship. Where, yeah. Like, um, he was nice to me and shit. Yeah. In high school, uh, and we would play Smash together, and he called me a faggot. <laughs> And it would like push me around and shit, and it would like hit me and shit. Sounds hot. And uh, but we were pretty good friends. It was it. I can't say that. <laughs> he, he wants to. I will say. I will say. He is. He is immensely attractive to me. Just because of that. And then yeah, that, yeah. Oh, just because he bullies you. <laughs> Bailey, you're so he typical. Sent me a text. Listen, I'm a, I'm attracted to people that I will never have a chance with. Uh. Um, I did not suck his dick, uh, but a couple days ago, we were, because he's on the same floor as me in my dorm, Right. we ended up going to the same college, Yeah. Um, and he sent me a message, and he was like, he basically, he said that he was going to send the, um, the pictures of me that he had in, la of me in lingerie to the fucking group mate, to the dorm oh. group mate, as like a blackmailing technique, wow. oh. but he didn't do it, obviously, no, 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 he would never do that, please, he would never do that, please don't I, show those pictures to anyone, I'll do anything, <laughs> I didn't do that, oh, come on, I Bailey, that. that's the cue, I'm not weird, that's the cue, no, to be no, like, he's not, because I, I sent him a message, and then he was like, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Homie, you're gay. Didn't respond to anything that I said. <laughs> um, but, uh, 
yeah, he said that, and and then I said, like, I was like, ha 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 ha, I'm, you know, I respect you even more now that I know that you didn't do that already. <laughs> and, um, and he just, and, and I sent him, like, a full, co like, I was basically trying to initiate a conversation, because there's not, not to fuck him, of course, I don't, I would never fuck him, he's, he's very straight, but... Uh, just to like talk to him because he's a funny guy. He loves Sam Hyde. He fucking adores Sam Hyde. Yeah. Um, or well, he doesn't adore Sam Hyde, but he finds him very funny. Uh, he used to. Do you know the um, what's it called? The the Japanese culture videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That video is so funny. He used to show me that 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 to like uh people at school like all the fucking time. Yeah. Fuck, always fucking hilarious. But uh, he he had that set up on like our school's like big TV and shit. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, that's dope. Um, but uh. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to him more because he's cool, but uh, I, I tried to start a conversation and he just responded with, you are gay, and then didn't respond <laughs> to anything that I said. Uh, so that, yeah. That's the end of that. <laughs> just like, you're gay. I still fully respect him, but it was very funny. Um, I can respect the man with, uh, with I don't know, like... Not morals, but what's it called? Where you have like. Set, set. He won't hang out with you because you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I respect a good homophobe. Um, <laughs> that good shit. Oh, dude. There is. I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to tell the story, and I'm not going to give any hints as to. Well, no. Yeah, I will. There's this guy on our floor that has green hair that makes him look like a fucking leprechaun. Yeah. And he's got a fucking nose piercing, and he's pretty big and uh and he's gay yeah. and he texted our group me and he was like yo who's the guy with the uh the long like uh like what's it called um uh fucking faggy uh, <laughs> no it's a type of hair it's a type of haircut uh, um the long whatever the long fucking whatever the fuck you call my hair and i was like i think that's me and he was like do you want to smoke uh, get high sometime and i was like sure why not because i want free weed yeah. Um, then he started texting me, and oh my god, I wanted to fucking gut. I wanted to kill myself, dude. Oh, he just he won't leave me alone. Oh. Was he's it? Not, he's fucking dating a chick. Oh, a girl. maybe he. I, like. Yeah. I don't, don't know. Maybe he wants you on the down low. I think he wants me to join his gay little polycule. Oh man, those are like those are always just like a couple, and then they're orbiters. Yeah, like they'll just exactly. yeah, it's like uh, you have the the big fat guy who's like the big fat guy who's like yeah, I just love cuddling. <laughs> I I have like four friends that are all in poly. Man, I, oh if it works for them, it works. If it works, it works. But I have seen plenty where it does not work, and oh. it's very funny when it ends up not working. Oh man, it's sad in a sad way. In a sad way. Um. These are not the people that I'm friends with, by the way. All the people that I'm friends with have been polycule for, like, years, and somehow it still works. Well, good um, for them. Good for them, but I would never be in a polycule. That would never work for me. It's, like, 100%. I think I've been, I've been invited to join one since I came out, and I was like, nah, I'm all good. I'm good. I'm okay. It was... Over grinder. No, it was it was on like no, it was like in real life. Just this person I knew was like, oh, but it was like a it was like a they had like a Pokemon collect them all attitude towards it, and I was like, no. Nah. Oh, that's a bit weird. It, I wouldn't. It's a bit strange. It's like yeah, we're gonna. It, it's yeah. What do you have? Yeah, I don't think I would. Uh, I don't think I would join that. Well, I wouldn't join any. I've gotten offered to join Polykills, and I've said no. Um, yeah. Uh, I. I, I'm a one person type of per, type of guy and I'm okay with an open relationship if it's like long distance mm -hmm. I understand that like um, a dude got to get his fucking rocks off man's, eventually. man's got needs yeah yes but I would never do a polycule no 100% open that yeah seems dangerous I don't know open is okay with long, I'm okay with long distance open right if it was like I live in the same city fuck no you're only gonna have sex with me, and you're gonna fucking like it. You're gonna, gonna like it. <laughs> you're gonna fucking like it. There's people who think you're like weird it. if you do monogamy, though. They think it's a, like a oh, that's a, you're like a straight person. It's like well, you know. Uh, no, I just like I like one person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like with one person. Pretty much. I, you know. 
Uh, Polycule does seem kind of cringe, Shrek 4. <laughs> it does, yeah. Maybe a little like bit. Like I said, if it works, it works, man. If it works, it works. But, uh, I would rather be trad wife. <laughs> Bailey, Bailey wants to be wifed. <laughs> I want to be wife. I need it. I will be the I wife. I fucking need it. <laughs> You just come home and... I have such a bad problem now. What? I... I like... I will... <laughs> I will meet people at restaurants, like, that are attractive. Like, this happened, like, a couple months ago, before I even came to college. Mm -hmm. Was I... Uh, there was a cute guy at a... Trip, or, like, oh, my God. Have yeah. I told the story about the, the my movie theater job and the head thing? No. Oh, my God. Okay. So I worked at a uh, drive-in movie theater over the summer mm -hmm. um, for like for like money for college. Yeah. And uh, let me say getting wiped over your kitchen bed. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, and I worked the concession stand one night and these two guys come up and they seem like really fucked up and high mm -hmm. uh, and like talking to me and then they walked away and then one of them came back um and was like hey man and i thought he was like doing a bit yeah i thought he was just super fucking high and he was trying to sell me weed or like give me weed yeah uh, and he was like hey man you're pretty cute and and like i thought it was like one of those things where it's like you know hey dude you're pretty fucking cute like <laughs> like a, like a joke that i would do with a friend like yeah actually <laughs> but uh he said that and then i was like dude thanks bro you are too as a joke oh i thought it was a bit and then he offered my snapchat and i took it and I get in my car after work, oh. and I go to check, because I assumed he was going to sell me weed. Yo. Um, he was like, hey, do you want to come get head in my car? <laughs> right now? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I'm good. See you later, I'm bro. Leave. I'm not that type of person. Oh, go. God. Car fun sounds awful. No. I don't. I'm, I'm six foot four. I do not do that shit. No, I, I am fucking fine. I would rather not. <laughs> oh, man. You have chems, buddy? That sounds terrible. Yeah, I know. It sounds fucking wretched. But hey, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. You know, I don't... I don't hate them. They shot their shot. They yeah. missed horribly and landed in a field <laughs> somewhere else. Blew up a bunch they of children. They shot their shot. It killed people. It, mur it massacred people. People oh. were dead in the streets. But it's okay. It's whatever. I get it, you know? It's all over. It's whatever. <laughs> hey. I am hey, too tall for car tall. stuff, and it does make me sad, but, you know, it's good to be tall. Yeah. I like being tall. Wait, how tall are you, Rocky? Six foot five. Damn, you are tall. Holy fuck. I'm a big boy. That's nice. Yeah. Yes, being tall is awesome. I'm six one. <laughs> Which You're is for... always surprising. I assumed you'd be, like, five foot seven. Yeah, I imagined you yeah, being small. That's huh. what people assume. I, um, do you know Rosie? I think- I do I know Rosie. Yeah, I know Rosie. Uh, she- I went to hang out with her, uh, I went up to her place, her and her husband's place, mm -hmm. and, um, she's so short, bro. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised. Oh. I mean, it's like a shock. Right. It's like, and they were surprised too. They were like, oh my god, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a really lanky body. I look like a lanky dude. You got that, yeah, you got the tall and skinny build going. If I could pull that off, yeah. I'd be so happy, but I'd just look like a bottom, so I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever, dude. I mean, uh, tall and jack, or tall and like, I like, um, I like the look that, uh, twunks have. Twunks are cool. Yeah. Uh, stoner, stoner dudes are cool too. I don't care, really. I, Most yeah. of my. You know, it's whatever. I want to grow my hair out so it kind of has like a rugged look, and I look like I don't care. That'd be cool. That would uh, that would be pretty that'd dope. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna look cool for the summer. I say everybody should try long hair at least once. Yeah, I could I could go grunge, get a big nice sweater. Oh. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Get a big fucking long ass sleeved sweater. Hell yeah. That shit perfect. I could do that. You should do that. You should do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Steal that look. Steal it. I'm trying to grow my... I don't know when I'm going to cut my hair. Because I'm, I'm trying to deem if I like it. Because I like it right now, obviously. It's good, like, yeah. I kind of want to... How long do you want it? Longer. Like past your I shoulders? Know. I'm not sure. I kind of want 
to try it past mm. my shoulders. I would like to see what it looks like past my shoulders. That'd be I interesting. Look... Yeah. It would be interesting. I, 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 you know, I've already kind of got it to where it frames my face really well. Mm -hmm. So when I don't have long hair, I look like, um, I look like Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> I, 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 I Sid from Ice Age, which was my, um, People used to call me that in, in, in like, early high school. They would call me Sid until I grew my hair out. <laughs> That's cool. Like, I literally was ugly as a motherfucker before I started oh. growing my hair out long, dude. Have you seen what I used to look like? I don't think... I think I posted pictures. I had, like, a mullet, and I just had braces, and I looked awful. <laughs> I looked... Oh. And I was lanky, too. Like, really tall and skinny. Just... Ugh. I like being lanky, bro. It's a good look. Being lanky is cool. I don't. I. I. I'm. De I'm debating whether I want to get braces or not, though. Yeah. I, I kind of want to straighten my teeth, my two front teeth out. Yeah. But dear God, I don't want to. I don't want to be wearing braces. Twenty one, bro. Man, I got my. Yeah. I got good teeth because of braces. So, but dental care here is a fucking True. scam. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's fucking so expensive, bro. I am. Yeah. So insane. Like. I don't even understand how, like, what the fuck is the cost coming from? How much does the shit, is it the equipment? <laughs> I don't, it's just, just probably just installation and stuff, I don't know. I mean, it's insanely expensive for what's essentially a bunch of chicken wire between the two. <laughs> You're getting that wire put in. <laughs> I'm just shooting refugees, <laughs> I'm just killing people. I'm, I'm doing this because I want a script break, I should make it clear. Racist! I'm not, racist. <laughs> no, I, you can script break if you kill all these people, and I'm not playing very seriously. I <laughs> That's what I did for, for a while. Yeah, this I is... To, uh, I think I went to Caesar's Legion, or Caesar's Camp, and, like, killed all of them, like, the second time. Yeah, 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 you Cottonwood Cove. It's super cool to me. It's cool that the game acknowledges that, yeah. And I'm gonna steal it's all this food. It's dope that, uh... What's his name? Is it Caesar? It's... Is it Caesar that you fight in the end of the game? No, that's that's Len Lenius, Legatus Lenius, yeah, or Lenius, however. Yeah, Lenius. Lenius. You kill. You can. Caesar's the old fuck. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You. It's so cool. You can like kill Caesar and then fucking Lenius will like acknowledge that you fucking murdered the guy. That guy's. That's so fucking cool. It's. I wish you could tell him about Joshua Graham, but obviously that's like DLC. Yeah. I would. Uh. They kind of did that in Fallout 4 actually, which is pretty cool. What did they um, do with that? They did. They uh, they had a DLC. I don't remember if it was Far Harbor or mm. another one, but you can do shit like no, it was Far Harbor because you can do shit with synths in Far Harbor. Mm. And um, if you do shit with the synths, you can go back to the institute and they'll acknowledge it. Like they, I think they, they added like a new NPC in to acknowledge it. Oh, and shit, that's cool. But it's there, which I think is really cool. And for all the shit that I give Fallout Four because it's fucking dog shit. Mm -hmm. Um. I do think a lot of that stuff is cool. The problem, yeah, the big problem with this game is the Legion, because there is no compelling reason to pick them unless you're rolling an evil character. Like, there's yeah. just no reason to pick them. Yeah. Which is a shame. The Legion is, um, I would like to, I, I haven't done a Legion playthrough yet, I'm gonna be honest. He, I've done, uh, yeah. I've done Mr. House, and I've done the fucking, what's it called, uh, the robot guy. Mm. The robot guy ending, uh... The crazy fucking ending, um, wild card or whatever. Yeah. I have not done uh, Legion or I started an NCR playthrough and then I got bored because yeah. NCR is fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, you want yeah? You, fucking gay. You want to do the Legion so so you can be a boy slave? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's you found me out. Exactly. <laughs> you got me. You got me, Rocky. <laughs> None of the people in the NCR are attractive. That's the problem. That's the big problem. I just want to fuck a ghoul, Rocky. You don't get it. <laughs> I, I want to get fucked by a ghoul. <laughs> I think I'm they, going... they do establish that the Legion are pretty gay in this, I think. I... Maybe. I don't know. They're gay in the Spartan sense, from what I understand. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. There, um, there is um a thing where I think if you if you play a female character, you can't do one of the side quests, which is like the fighting. Mm, quests, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, for the Legion, which I think is really cool. They don't do that in like, 
They don't do that in any of the fucking other ones. Mm -hmm. New Vegas is so fucking good, dude. I ah, I love it so much. New Vegas I just is great. The shooting was an ass. I it's the, the it's I think I've said this, but like it's the it's the best like world building and RPG stuff in one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> just yeah, like actually exactly. playing it, you can just see all the duct tape. It is it is one of the only Fallout games that I've ever replayed several times. It's but it is held together with duct tape. It is. I think that yeah. just means the writing is so good. It's like Fallout Three, but not retarded. Yeah. God, I fucking I do not like Fallout Three. I, I cannot get into it. Yeah, it's not good. I, think I like I honestly I like Fallout Four more than the explorations at least fun like more fun than Fallout Four. Fallout 4 was like my podcast game for a little while. Yeah, exactly. It's like Destiny 2. You play that shit like a fucking, mm. you know, like a shitty, shitty, like, uh, loot game. Yeah, it's like, like background you noise play that, almost. Like a Borderlands game. Yeah. Even if Borderlands is better than that game somehow. I, I did like, um, building up like a, a settlement and shit. That was kind of fun. Yeah. They just had all like the Minecraft shit, which was pretty funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, for, I don't, yeah. uh, you know what I don't get? What? Oh, what? Oh, no, you go ahead. No, you go first. No, 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 you okay. go first. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, I'll go. Uh, I don't understand Fallout, like, Skyrim, uh, like, the, all the sex mods that are in Skyrim. Oh, man. It just, I don't get it. It's... I, I have seen videos of it. I have, I have looked up how many there are. It's insane. It's... It's insane. You, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my lord. They turned it into a fucking porn simulator. It's dude. incredible how detailed it is. Yeah, it's it's, it's a whole there's whole communities and stuff. Oh my god, watch out. There's a um oh is he yeah, he's about to get fucking drilled. <laughs> get fucked, retard. <laughs> you idiot, you fool. All physics. Exactly. There dude, there are there's like a mod for every specific fetish. I'm sure that there's probably a diaper one. Yeah, oh, for, they're fucking weird. Fucking probably, God. I don't have any Have you ever wanted to play your favorite game and masturbate at the same time? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. I played, yes. Wow. I played, uh, I played Skyrim on my Switch, mm. and not my PC, because I didn't... I don't know why I did that. Um, I guess I, I'm... I, I tend to beat games more if they're on my Switch, because I can just do mm -hmm. it like, while I'm doing other shit. Yeah. Uh, but... I would have liked to play it on PC now because one of my favorite things was I got like after I beat the initial story and a lot of the side quests I was like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna do the um the homestead DLC yeah or whatever it's called fucking where you like make make a house and shit and you can get a husband and stuff yeah. I did that and I played like a cat dude and then I got like a an orc husband <laughs> and, he's getting know, bread <laughs> yeah exactly and, and you know as much as I say. You know, I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't download those mods. I absolutely would. <laughs> I'm lying. I can take four orcs. Bailey's just like, I can take four oh, orcs. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that fucking image. <laughs> I, yeah, I can take four orcs. <laughs> oh, you meant in a fight. <laughs> oh, you meant like that. I was, did you, did you, I, I found the original post of the Twink Wojak the other day. Yes. Have you seen that? It's just a 16... It's a Wojak version of a 16-year-old girl's OC. Which I think is... Is it actually? It, it, it is. Yes. Which, That's so funny. No, I saw you tweet that, but I didn't know the context. That, that, I thought you just meant, like, it looks like something that would be that. That, that is the that. original Twink Wojak, and that thing is ruining society. That's fucking hilarious. God. Twink Wojak's fucking adorable, dude. It's the perfect image. It is. Yeah, he's cute. I mean, I hate Wojaks, but I, I, I don't hate Wojaks. They've become like so like Wojaks. prevalent. It's, I mean, it's Rage Comics. It is. <laughs> it's Rage Comics, but how, but for horny people. I yeah, I mostly know about like the Twink Wojak because Drommels keeps posting it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Drommels. Drommels is like one of my favorites. I should talk to him more. I want to have him on. He's, he's, he's a sweetheart. A, he's a sweetie, yeah. We love you, Drommels, if you're watching. Oh, I, we love you, Drommels. There's a mod that you can get solely so that you can shoot this kid. And it's just, <laughs> he is so annoying. 
I fucking love the, uh, I thought it was for every kid, so you can kill everyone. Oh, you probably, I think there are child, there's not a lot, there's like no kids in this game that I would like want to shoot, but that kid, that kid is not In Fallout 3, fuck the children in Fallout 3, bro. Kill those kids, now. Fuck those dudes. Fuck them. Kill those kids. Damn, the hell with those Same kids. Same with Skyrim, I would have, I would have modded the fuck out of Skyrim specifically to kill children if I could have. <laughs> Let's see what Boone can do. 100. Come on, Boone, you got this. Boy Jack is an MK Ultra Basilisk. <laughs> Damn right. Come on, Boone. All right, Boone is. Come on, Boone, you got this. Okay, we don't got this. MK Ultra Basilisk. Yo, have you listened to the uh, the new Salem? Uh, no, I have not. Yo, get on that shit. It's good. I fucking will, bro. I've been listening to a lot of the shitty stuff that I listened to in middle school. Uh, yeah, I always come back of, to that. Not shitty stuff, I guess. No. I like, I, I like that music, dude. What do you listen to? I I've been listening to the blandest of shit, like I said, from middle school. Like, <laughs> I've been listening to um, uh, what's it called? Um, fucking. I don't remember. I'm really bad with fucking band names for some reason. Yeah, what do you zoomers listen to I've been anyway? To a lot of gorillas. I've been listening to a lot of girls. I've been listening to a lot of uh, fucking. Is it mindless self indulgence? Yo, that's dope. Uh, a lot of fucking. Here, let me go. Th yeah, let me go through my fucking most recent added shit to my playlist. Yeah, let's let's listen. Um, Eddie Baker. Uh, fucking. Who's who's dude? Metallica. New Order. A lot of eighty oh. shit. Uh, Carpenter Brute. A lot of Carpenter. Carpenter Brute. Yo, nice. Carpenter Brute fucking rocks, dude. That's dope. The Hotline Miami soundtrack fucking I high. I listened to that for like a oh. year straight. That was just all I was listening to. It's so good, dude. Man. You remember, you, if you want to like really get into working out, bro, you got to listen to that shit while you work out. Mm. That shit gets your fucking dick pumping. <laughs> That's what you want. You, you'll be... You want to get blood in your dick. <laughs> Listen to the Hotline Miami soundtrack, you'll be the same. This shit will make you come. <laughs> Just like a YouTube Hotline guy. The Hotline Miami soundtrack is better than Viagra. Just like Anthony Fantano being like, feeling a little bit hard listening to this. <laughs> it's Just like, mm, didn't quite work for me in some parts. You know, I'll give this like a seven, maybe a six. <laughs> maybe a six. I'm not used to getting hard. I don't usually get hard while I listen to music, but... Just not something that happens, but you know what? You know? I'll give it a sec. <laughs> is, um, is he considered... Is is Anthony Fantano considered bass still? Or I don't know. He alternates with me. Sometimes sometimes he's bass, other times he's cringe. Anytime he posts about politics on Twitter, it's always the most insufferable shit. He's, uh... He had a very big shift because somebody made an article about him. Oh, about yes. His, like, do you remember this? I do, somebody, yeah. Somebody made an article about how him doing meme reviews or whatever the fuck and saying Pepe wasn't racist was what caused uh, that guy to drive through people and approach Oh, him. my God. That sounds nuts. Oh. Is he 40? No way he's 40. He's like 30. Yeah, Fantano's pretty old from what I understand. That's why it's like... Him being into like teen rap is funny. Damn, he's thirty five. He's just walking what up to fuck? he's walking up to kids and being like, "Yo, that's lit." And it's like, "What? <laughs> We're in a parking lot, dude." It's not. That's really not that old, but he looks really young. How old he is? It's because he's bald. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't say that in a bad way. His face is baby. He does. You know, people people shit on him. People call him an egg. He's not a bad looking guy. People call him an he's egg. He's not a bad looking dude. People call him an egg person. You know, he's not a bad looking guy. He I looks alright. I him with hair, and it was right for him to cut it. Yo. Oh, he looks fucked up with hair. He did. Have you seen, really weird. have you seen like those old pictures of the red letter media people? Yeah. Like back, so oh, weird, the old episodes where Jay just looks ugly are so weird. I think that's when the show becomes good, is when Jay starts to get hot. <laughs> Jay got so hot, bro? Yeah. Fucked. 
He looks like a fucking. He's he's straight up just attractive. It's weird. It's bizarre. I, I think he was just fat. What's his name? Uh, what the opposite way? Fucking. Uh, oh, Mike. I forget one of. Yeah, Mike went the opposite way, and he's just. Oh man. Oh. Mikey boy. Man, Mike is. Just, he's not aging well. I love the age progression thing where it's like. It's like um, <laughs> 2003. <laughs> Jay looks ugly and Mike looks uh, pretty attractive or like okay. Yeah. 2015. Jay, Jay looks pretty attractive. and yep. Mike Looks fucking is huge. And then 2020 is just like a big fucking ball of. <laughs> Something. Uh, an interesting thing about Red Letter Media is like Mike being a lot more reactionary than he lets on. Do you I, know? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. Mike, yeah, he's he's. I think he lets it slip every now and then that he's like that. There was the uh, episode where they're talking about Captain, and he's just like, yeah, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I was like, I mean, I, I, sure, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, but like, it's yeah, it's funny. Oh man, I am totally. I've watched plenty of reactionaries already. I would say that uh, I'm pretty sure Nick counts as a reactionary. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Nick is political, even even like. I don't I think, think so. Nick is such a weird is in a weird such a weird space. Mm. He's, um, because I would, I don't know, I would not relate him to Sam Hyde. No, like, that's where all the MDE I people went say, though. Yeah, that is true. That's why their fan base is um, kind of insane. I fuck it, it's funny. I love, I love the that that subreddit, the Cumtown subreddit, was literally the <laughs> subreddit I would ever. It was, I would ever it was use. great. It was so funny. And then they got it fucking taken down because they kept shitting on the Chapo subreddit. Did you? And then some Chapo yeah. fags gotta take it down. Did you see the fact that Dasha keeps getting posted in like the trap subreddit? Yes. <laughs> it's so funny. Somebody posted in um on on LGBT. Somebody posted uh do you do you think I passed? There's a picture of Dasha. She does look boyish from certain angles. She does. I think she's. She is so pretty, dude. She's, Dasha yeah. is literally so hot. She's hot. But she's really hot. But she has, like, a very boyish, like, chin, mm. I think. I think it's how strong her jaw is. It's the forehead, yeah, maybe. Strong jaw. I don't know. Maybe. It's that Mongol DNA. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, honestly, dude, I've never listened. I've, I've, I've listened to, like, an episode of Red Scare. Oh, it, I, I only like the ones where they're shitting on other women. Those are fun. In hindsight, it makes sense that I liked Red Scare. Because the audience is yeah. just like gay men and women. <laughs> Dasha is very attractive. She but is. yeah, she looks like a very good passing trans woman. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like exactly like. I, I know this chick that does. um. You listened to the Boy Motor podcast that I, I was on. I did, yeah, yeah. There, one of the girls on there is named Jane, mm -hmm. and she kind of has like a Dasha look face. Yeah. Which is a compliment. Yeah. That's People cool. People say that taking HRT improves your skin, and I'm fucking waiting. Your skin feels like shit. You already have nice skin, though, from what I understand. No, bro. I've got. I mean, it's okay. I've got a lot of pimples, bro. Oh. Well, you're young and still. If I clean it, my face gets fucking. Yeah, that's true. I'm pretty young. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know. Um, do you know uh, uh, Ella Hollywood? No, I don't. She's uh, she did porn or well, now they're a he. Oh. I, I don't know what they are, technically right now, but they they detransitioned. Mm -hmm. But um, they are uh, well, no, wait, no, I'm thinking about a different person. Fuck. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't them. Shit. Who the fuck does it? Fuck. No, it was a smaller fucking porn person. Right, right. I gotta fuck it. No, not not Robin Banks. They didn't. They didn't ever. Tra Robin didn't ever transition. I didn't think. I don't know any of these people. But <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. In the uh, in the Twitch in the Twitch chat. Mm -hmm. Um. No, Ella. Ella did not. I'm sorry. I fucking. I got them. And neither did Robin Banks. That guy. Uh, it's what? Somebody else. I'm being shot at from the floor by this person. Punished? Are you a transsexual man? 
I'm something. <laughs> He's something. I'm something. You can guess. You may I'll guess. I, you that I have a penis. I jokingly called him an e-boy earlier, and that's pretty on the mark. What is happening? There is a laser rifle on the floor, and it is shooting at me. What, the, what is happening? The What's going on? The ground. Kill him! What the fuck is happening? What? What's going on? I don't know. What? What the fuck? Are they? I think they're just in the ground. Their gun is up above because they can't shoot you if I, it goes under. This is bizarre. I've never had this happen before. It's really weird. I love it. I love New Vegas just being broken. You get to find new things that are fucking jank as hell. What? What on earth? Um, I am I am not a transsexual man, no. I'm something. <laughs> I'm something. I can tell you that I have a... I can tell you for 100, 100%, I have a penis. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's all you can say. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. <laughs> have you seen that Dexter's <laughs> Lab episode? <laughs> No. You have it, the omelette du, the one where all he can say is uh, cheese in French, omelette du fromage. That's all he can say. Oh, bro. Oh. Dexter's Laboratory was big when, like, I wasn't allowed to watch TV. Oh. Disappointing. S say it again, Dexter. I did watch a lot of Samurai Jack. Yo. Oh, I have seen that. I yes. Yes. Say it again, Dexter. Now it's dead. <laughs> say it again, Dexter. Where did... Is he in the ground? What the... F I think he, yeah, he's right there. He's literally in the ground. Don't shoot at him. Okay, hang on. It, yeah, you can't do anything to him because your bullets all go through. So I'm assuming what happened is he's. The gun oh my god. Is a different. The gun is a different type of object to the like the player I, or like the, the NPC's model. Yeah. And so the NPC can go through because it doesn't have like the proper collision. But the gun can't because it does have proper Oh my god, he's been- I'm guessing here. What? Oh <laughs> Whoa! What is go what? There he is! What is happening? This is the most cursed thing I have ever seen in my life. So was that the guy that just went to the- <laughs> He was literally in the ground. Why did my reputation sink? Why? Why is he not dead? Oh, he is dead. Okay. Oh my god, this is terrifying. He just turned into a telephone pole. Jesus, fuck. You saw that, right? Whoa. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> Somebody said was that really <laughs> Yes. <laughs> god. Yes, it was. When this game breaks, it breaks. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. We're, we're okay now. Anyway. Next stream we do? Next stream we do, we should fucking play, um... We should play Dark Souls. Oh, I wanna watch you play Dark Souls. That's not. Thank you. Yeah, bro. I'll play Dark Souls, man. I'm pretty good at it. Dark Souls is so fucking good, bro. I, I honestly, okay. I'm, I'm gonna say something that's shameful. Yeah. I've only beaten the first one. Really? I've oh. The first one. I've. I never beat two or three. I'd I never beat one. two, but I got through one playthrough of three, and then I kind of got over. It. I, I played three like right after I played uh, Bloodborne, and I was kind of over that format. Mm -hmm. But I adore Bloodborne. It's like one of my favorite games. Bloodborne is so good, and so is uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls One is, I think, one of my favorite games of all time. I love probably. it. Love I it think I've sunk like a hundred something hours into it. It's, I've it's been so stuck good. on Orenstein and Smo since the Battle President. That's um, you. You're a bitch. Orenstein and Smog isn't even that hard. It's not too hard. Getting people who get stuck on Dark Souls don't know how to grind. <laughs> you just gotta grind some people out, bro. How are you grinding in Dark Souls? You don't even have to do that. Dude, that's I'm shit. I I mean, you don't. You do not have to do it. Level like, 187. If you get stuck on something, if you get stuck on somebody, you you can just fucking grind it out until you can just smack bitches. It's you just do it until you get it. Like that's all it is. Orange and Smog. Uh, what's what's the guy? There's a, a DLC for Dark Souls one that I forgot. Uh, what the name was, but. Uh, the boss in that one I'd literally never beat because my guy had like, I I only ever fat rolled. Yeah. And the guy in there, you literally need to be able to like parry to fucking yep. beat or like dodge quickly. And uh, I was doing like, I had the full uh, Ornstein set on. I yeah. Had, uh, the fucking the big fat suit. Yep. And I had the big fucking hammer. Nice. This is my favorite. Do doing PvP with that shit is so fun. <laughs> 
I I greatly oh. greatly miss Dark Souls One P PVP. Yeah, man. I was like, I want to put I, that Demon Souls reboot. I just don't know about it. A lot of people are very excited for it, but they haven't played the original. No, I okay. I've never played the original. It's probably I don't know. I just don't. I, don't, I you know. I I've watched uh, I've watched plenty of videos on it. I've watched the full what's it what's his name Joseph Anderson or whatever. Oh whatever yeah yeah. His name is not Joseph Anderson. Uh, Matthew it's Matthew Anderson. Yeah, Matthew Mato Joseph Anderson's fucking gay. Dude. Oh Joseph god. Joseph Anderson's a retard. Dude. I don't even get me started, oh, man. God. Him. Th no, I, mean I want to talk about because because oh. you pointed out the, the Silent Hill two video. That's you talked about it, and I went and watched it. And I wanted to kill my. That dad. is just him being him being unable to understand like anything that isn't like spelled out. Like him finishing Silent Hill two and being like, "I wish this explained more." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you don't. No, no. I hope you die. <laughs> I just, just the absolute shittiness. Why is everyone running away from me? Matthew Matosis, I genuinely like. I think I think listening to him talk on games is is fun. Yeah. Even if I don't agree with him one hundred percent. I. But Joseph Anderson is retarded. He. Oh God. Just watching him just not understand. He. I watched him play Danganronpa V three, which is one of my favorite games. I. I won't spoil it, but the ending yeah. is very meta, and he took it all literally, and it just it hurt oh to God. it hurt to watch. I just when we said H Bomber guy, do we like him? Uh, uh I like him uh, on Dark Souls and that's it. I like him when he's not talking about video games, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, I like I I like him when he's talking about some video games. I don't like him when he's talking about other I yeah. I think I only I, don't I like, yeah. I, I, I you know, when he gets political, I'm a, I don't care. I don't I just don't watch it anymore really. <laughs> His Dark Souls 2 defense left a sour taste in my mouth. But oh, God. The Dark Souls 2 video is so bad. Mm, that's the one that kind of soured me on him for a while. But I like his TV like critiques and stuff. I haven't even watched Sherlock, and I like that video. Somebody said, shout out to Matthew Joseph's Bioshock Infinite video where he just blasts the N-word. And I fell asleep to that video. <laughs> There's a clip where he goes, you know, and and he, he just says it like, oh, like man. maybe like four times, and, <laughs> and I was like, did he just say that? Did he just say that? Did he just say that? Was it the Bioshock Infinite video where he was like, they don't even say the N word in this game? I I do they? St I don't remember. Did they I don't. Know? No. Uh, why he said it? I, so I forgot why why he said it. You know, Ego Raptor. Do you know? Are you old enough to be into, have been into him? A fucking course, I dude. Ego Raptor is the only reason I ever got into. Dude, he said the N word a lot. Looking back, and <laughs> he certainly said that word a lot. Yo, dude, I fucking I hate Game Grump so much, bro. That shit is so gay. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Not enough N bombs. <laughs> Somebody said N word Raptor. He uh, like fuck. man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you go back and you watch this. From that, at this point, because like all of his tweets now are like wholesome shit. Oh, uh, he turned the internet against Sonic, man. I can't forgive that. Like, I don't even yeah, like Sonic that much. I don't, you know, I like Sonic because I think uh, I liked Sonic when I was like 12, and I still kind of think he's cool. Yeah. When he plays, I used to watch a lot, and when I watched it, I copied their humor a lot. Mm -hmm. This was in like early, early high school, mm -hmm. and I got bullied because of it. <laughs> at a new school, and then I moved to another school, and I stopped watching it, uh, and people started liking me more. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I, I agree. Oh, uh, I think uh, realizing after I left high school that I was like a dickhead, like I came off as a dickhead, was one of the most important things. Because like I thought, oh, if I'm if I'm angry all the time, that makes me funny, and it's like <laughs> you really, uh, you realize like no, 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 you have to actually be likable. People, you have to be likable. End up just liking, disliking you if you're just constantly angry. Oh, just like it's something that I realized. Like, oh, you have to, you have to be like, like, I don't know, likable to be liked. If that makes sense. Yeah. Just... Uh, uh, I like Sleepy Cabin more than Oni plays personally. Man, I, I, I'm I've been sitting on that. <laughs> I need to get into that. Sleepy Cabin. Yeah. Uh, it, 
It's like louder, more autistic uh, Come Town. Sounds dope. Like slightly less funny. Oh. It's not as, it's not nearly Come Town. I, I don't know. I think I know. I like Sleepy Cabin a lot. I don't know. I liked it a lot in high school. I don't listen to it anymore as much. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is it is very very yeah. Somebody said it's very obviously of its time. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I still think it's hilarious though. Yeah. Listening to uh, there's there's a bit where they talk about like um, <laughs> what if what if one of the hosts did like uh, ran for president on like <laughs> on like a uh, a platform of fucking making Sonic's arms blue. Again <laughs> <or something. laughs> It was so funny. That's great. Oh, fuck. I love Christian shit, bro. Oh, man. There's people who can, like, watch that, those documentaries, and I just don't know how. No, no. I can't do that anymore. That's... No, no way. God. Especially, uh, especially after, I think, I don't know what, what the cutoff period is. Yeah. Or when it started just becoming sad. Like... Maybe when he burnt down his house with a coffee maker. Oh, my God. But, uh... Yeah, I he burns that. Did, do you know about that? No, I don't. Oh, oh he fucking um, uh, Chris was in his bathroom mm -hmm. and he plugged in his coffee maker. Oh. And I guess he was making coffee, and he also had a bunch of other shit uh, plugged into that room, and it just fucking lit up. And God. He burned down his apartment. That... It was fucked. <laughs> oh no. It's so fucked. Man. Um, there, oh god, there's like, he's the most written about person since Hitler, and I just don't know how to deal with that. There's more, yeah. there's more written about him than most presidents. It's insane. I, I can't wait for the book after he's dead. Also, yeah, <laughs> Stamper is very funny. I'm pretty sure he does crack or something. I don't know. I think he got into crack for a while. Man. Stamper is cool. Stamper. But, um, yeah, Chris Chan is insane. Man, that's nuts. Wait, is Barb not dead? She might as well be, bro. I don't... Yeah, how the fuck is she... Like, is she doing anything? Man. Is she? Who is that? I don't know. Do you know who Emily Yukis is? I have heard that name. She... She was... Yeah. She made a series that uh, Angie... One of my... My friend Angie really, like, recommends to me. But, like, she has... She has, like, schizophrenia. And, like, I think she kind of went, like, lost to it and became a Nazi. Which is sad. But she was, like, immensely oh. talented. Yeah, do you know her? I might know who you're talking about. Did they do, like, an anime? Uh, Pistachio Girl, I think, was one of her names. Emily Yukis. I don't... Hmm. I do find it very funny now that Brittany Venti is racist. Like, horrible fucking racist. What's... Uh, <laughs> Emily Yakis? I think so, yeah. No, I don't know... What do they have a YouTube or a Twitter? Uh, no, they got like they got deplatformed from everything for being racist. <laughs> They're on Gab, which should tell you something. Ah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> mm, that's yeah, that's where they ended up. Oh, great! Didn't that uh, didn't that fucking faggot dude that was like a turf guy did, like get put on Gab too? Or no, he made his own fucking social media with just a blog and nobody visits wait him. what's that are you talking about the sinfest guy no the uh he used to be a comedian like glinner a yeah comedian oh my yeah, man glinner, guy. see like my dad fucking loves father ted and all that shit and it's it's so weird that the guy who made that just went insane and became a turf for some reason Imagine being so obsessed with trans people just, that you you lose your family, your children why? get taken away from. Why you. Why did he? That's why so did fun. he? What was the inciting incident? Like trans panic or something? Why did he become like I'm, that? I'm I'm fairly certain he got tricked by a trans girl into having like into like having sex or something. What? And fucking lost his mind. The fuck? God, because be that was he was just a chaser. <laughs> Alex Jones was into that shit. Remember that where he got Alex... Yes, I do. That's so funny. Alex Jones is based. Alex Jones God. is incredible. We... I res... I mean, I don't respect him. We need to bring him back. If he was my uncle, I would be fucking friends with that motherfucker. So God. Funny, dude. like, he's fucking a layer. I love the video where he's, you know. So what if Trump gave head to some dude? You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I mean, who cares? I mean, whatever. They can do whatever they want. I'm like, okay, all right. I'm okay with him believing. Uh, well, I'm not okay with him believing Sandy Hook was fake. That's probably not good. <laughs> That's probably not but, a good thing. <laughs> probably not a good thing. But 
he, he seems to um to be less homophobic and racist. Oh, someone talked about the Glinner thing. Someone criticized a transphobic joke on one of his shows, and then he lost his mind over it. Of course, of course. You could get away, yeah, what? like, yeah. yeah. You could be like, yeah, that was written in like what two thousand four. It's like there's a lot of stuff that doesn't hold up from that period. It's like, just, yeah, just move on. But most of the people that like get criticized for it are like, yeah, you know, it was a part of its time, whatever. I, you know. Who cares? Oh man. <laughs> he just couldn't. Not British? I thought he was. Whatever. What? I, I do like Father Ted. Father Ted is funny. It I, is. Like, I don't hate that show. There's a lot of there's an Asian bit in there that's really good. There's <laughs> just like a, a racist thing. Oh it's man. It's really funny. Um but uh yeah, he fucking lost his mind and and now he's a fucking dipshit. And uh what's her name? Yep. JK Rowling too. Because I'm assuming people called her out for making the bankers basically <laughs> Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> Rowling is so fucking funny. L did not even have to do anything for the rest of her life, but she's just like, hmm, I'll become a turf. I would become a turf. I think Hermione would... Her her Hermione would be a turf. Hermione hated to trans people. <laughs> <laughs> God... No, they aren't that good. They're children's books. They're books for babies. Books. They're books for babies. I have a tattoo of a of I'm Hufflepuff. I'm a Hufflepuff. They're for fucking middle aged women oh and my children. God. Have you like have you ever been down like the rabbit hole of like middle aged women who are really into like young adult stuff? Like books? Yes. What a they're pathetic. Oh, they're weird. They're the saddest people. <laughs> It's... I love, um, there was a TikTok a couple months back that was, like, some white chick. Yeah. And she's going on a rant, and she's like, you know, so what if, uh, if I read Percy Jackson and not actual <laughs> literature? You know, Percy Jackson has way more value to me than fucking whatever. The like, blatant insecurity. It's so funny. She made a full fucking, like, five-minute video about it. Uh... She's like, I don't care. You know, I don't. I just. I love Percy Jackson. Uh, it's a good book. Uh, it's great. It's better written than most uh, classical literature. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you don't believe that. You're just a fucking bitch and you can't read. <laughs> you can't. This lady well, can't sure read. Enough. Whatever. But like, don't. I can't read either. I can't read because I have a bad attention span. <laughs> exactly. I read. I'm willing to admit I'm retarded. I am <laughs> stupid. You must understand. I'm fucking dumb. It's a combination of dyslexia and ADHD. Oh. I got diagnosed with OCD recently. Did you know that? Oh, no! Yeah, Dude. that explains... You, it explains... Uh, well, I, I went... Oh, God. Well, I'd have to talk about... Well, I had, like, a, a weird obsession the last couple of weeks. But um, <laughs> if you've been on my if, private, you'll know you about it. If you want to talk about it, you can. If you don't want uh, to talk about it's it, it's kind of weird. But, like, no, I, I went in there like, no, you've... You've just got OCD, and it's like, oh, that make that's why I've been thinking about like Forrest Gump stuck in like Las Vegas during the shooting for like my whole like weeks. <laughs> that's why my brain is like that, and it's like, oh, but see, like I, I think, I think being irony poisoned saved me from the worst of it, because like people, people with OCD think about like, oh, what if my family dies, and I'm just thinking about like, man. What if Forrest Gump was, like, uh, putting on James Holmes' makeup before he walked into the theater? And he was like, all right, sir, you're looking great. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's just my obsession. That's just how my brain works. That's just how I live. Somebody said, damn, I wish I was irony poison. Yeah. But you do not. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, uh, it was, it was a rather embarrassing couple of weeks. In hindsight, it's very funny. <laughs> hindsight is 2020. Oh, maybe. God, the good shit. I mean, I'm probably, like, a at least a little bit autistic. Everyone, well, I, I know this sounds like, oh, everyone's got OCD. No, like, everyone's probably a little bit autistic. Yeah, to a certain degree. To a certain degree. Okay, I just saw your retweet of the Simpsons thing, and I hope you die.
<laughs> me? No, look, I Simpsons real life Simpsons stuff scares me on like they should not exist in the real world. They shouldn't. They look fucked up. <laughs> they look They're horrible. Disgusting. They are horrible and they should not exist in the real world. They need to stay in Springfield. What the fuck, Boone? I'd never say somebody should be get put down, but they should be put down. The the Simpsons, I, if, I, if I looked out the window and I saw Bart, I'd just start screaming. Jesus Christ. I would freak the fuck out. I'd lose my mind. And I say this as someone who suffers from a medical condition called Bart Simpson's skull. But like, <laughs> I've got what I've got you a got bad, permanently spiky hair. I've got, I've got a bad case of the tin can head, but you know what? <laughs> once you look, once you notice it, you'll never be able to unsee it. I wish I was yellow like a Simpsons I, character. I wish I, I wish I were a Simpsons character and I lived in Springfield and could like hang out with my friend Bart. I want to hang out with Bart. I want to hang out with real life Bart. Bart Simpson. <laughs> Bailey, what are you doing in Springfield? I'm, I'm here to kill your father. Your father is an abuser, Bart. Dude, I, I fucking love it whenever new versions of The Simpsons pop up in my feed. Yeah. They're all awful. Oh, God. Just the the animation just being ugly. and all, the, None of the it's characters awful. sounding right. Have you seen the Bernie Baby clip? Yes, what the fuck? I don't know, dude. It's... I want to know what fucking deranged person made that bit it's so weird it's so weird seeing them like do modern stuff because like bart exists in the 90s he doesn't have a ps4 he doesn't know what fortnite is yeah but now he does and we have to live with that homer you need to vote you need to vote for hillary <laughs> bart homer, vote for hillary <laughs> homer vladimir putin is undermining our democracy is an anti-vaxxer what she's a scientist no. oh everyone knows you know she's a scientologist right she was big into that shit i had no idea wait really I had no idea oh my god i'm that... not up to date on a lot of hollywood shit no. if it doesn't include epstein i don't know <laughs> it doesn't include epstein no it's not about epstein i do love the uh the section of the black i don't know if it was the not the black book the um the testimonial from one of the uh yeah. Kids that was on the plane, mm -hmm. on a fucking little St. James plane or whatever the fuck, that was like, um, yeah, uh, I had to massage Matt Groening's feet. <laughs> they, were <laughs> they were horrible. They were fucking horrible. She, he said that he would introduce me to Bart, and I was like, but Bart's not real, and he just, he was like, he just told me to shut up. <laughs> shut up, bitch. Don't talk about Bart. <laughs> Start sucking on these toes. Start sucking these digits, eh? Oh, did I tell you about the uh, the Dan Schneider thing? You did, yes. I'm, yeah, okay. I yeah, I was thinking maybe I brought. Tell us, tell the story again for those who were not here, for those who missed it. Uh, for those, for those who weren't there, um, during the time when Dan Schneider was getting fired from Nickelodeon, uh, my mother knows one of the, uh, like, what is it, lead, like, like basically the head of the New York division of Nickelodeon. And so I yeah. went, uh, and I toured that, that building. Very cool. They were very nice yeah. people. Um, but I was talking, and I saw a picture of Dan Steiner, and I was like, hey, didn't he get fired? And he was like, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he did some not-so-good things to some people. Oh, <laughs> and, my God. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And they never admitted it either. I they never, did, that yeah. guy admitted it to me before admitted it to the press. I guess he didn't assume that I would go on, I would end up being on somebody's twitching. <laughs> you would be breaking uh, the news here. Uh, if if you're listening and you got fired because I'm telling this story, I'm very sorry. It's okay. You're a very good man. You're, I'm, I'm you're a good man. I hope you, we hope you like living, like living in the Nickelodeon building. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's very gay. <laughs> He's very gay. <laughs> Oh, he did some not so good guy. things to some people. Just being like, <laughs> just being like, uh, he was like, he was a little yucky. <laughs> I was, yeah, I'm just imagining him saying like that. 
gross. He did some not so good things. We don't uh, we don't associate with that kind of stuff anymore. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> We'd rather not. We just don't talk or, about him. We don't talk. About he him. did what we call a no no. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's probably the reason like he didn't get out of it is probably because he's like hoarding all the feet pics. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got a big stash of. He's stuff. got all the digits. Have you seen that tweet uh, by the official Salmon Cat account, or uh, maybe it's the Nickelodeon account where it's like so a new episode of Salmon Cat is featured on is is coming on this uh, Friday. Make sure to watch it and before or <laughs> to show if you're excited. Right, Sam Cat on the bottom of your feet, and send us a picture. Did you did you see that he have had? That? Oh, I have seen that. Yes, there there was another tweet that he had where he had a dog whose name was Lolly, as in like sweet, on a on a floating pool toy that was a piece of pizza, and it's like, what are you meant to make of that? <laughs> That's that's. Oh, I've seen that. You've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. I was oh, like, no. what did he mean by this? What did he mean? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, it's a. There, you have to go. Is this a coincidence or is this absolutely intentional? It's. It, and I don't think you know. Have you seen? A, have you seen the movie I, Under the Silver Lake? Yeah. That, uh, no, I have not. Oh, played. go see that shit. It's like entirely about like rich people like signaling to each other, and it came oh, out. Yeah, it yeah. came out like right around the time Epstein like was like breaking. So I was like real paranoid watching it because it's all about like Hollywood and the elite and all that shit. It'll make you, you so paranoid. Under the Hollywood sign or whatever. S stuff like that, dude. Go watch that movie. It's like amazing. If you've got Epstein brain, it'll yeah, like blow your mind. I very much have epstein brain when when that whole like um when the whole hillary shit was going on i was very very much like or not the hillary shit but the shit with him getting arrested and then maybe killing himself mm -hmm. and not i mean not killing himself <laughs> but uh, uh yeah when that shit happened i was obsessed i like i watched like oh. maybe a hundred videos on it and read like so much shit Man, ninety percent of it probably not true, but I still believe that he, he was assassinated. It was so 100%. weird because Mullen did like an episode talking about him before he like came into the spotlight. Mm -hmm. The Hollywood pedophilia episodes of Come Town are just like keto. Oh, it's so good. Nick is just fucking schizo posting oh. on a fucking podcast. It's fantastic. It's amazing to hear. It's so good. Uh, I remember listening to that shit on a jog, and I had to stop running to listen to it. It's so funny. Um, the, um, I love, have you seen that clip that's, uh, the plane, the, it's like some plane TV show on MTV. Yep. Uh, where they, like, go into rich people's planes, and it's like Epstein's plane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, this guy flies Bill Clinton and some of the most famous people in the world, Bill Clinton and Trump. <laughs> <laughs> So fucking awful. Mr. Epstein. Watching it afterwards, it's so funny. Oh, this probably there was a lot of that for you know who Jimmy Seville is. Uh, he he know. was like a Brit a British kids TV show host who turned out to be like a massive pedophile, and like it oh, it he like raped like hundreds of kids, and then it turns out like everyone, Jimmy Savile or however you say it, but like it turns out oh, that he, he was a DJ. Oh. No, he he like. The people at the BBC all knew about it. It was all connected. And he was, like, really well-liked in the public eye. But then it all came out, like, after yeah. he died. And you can see, like, they were making, like, tribute documentaries to him and talking about his legacy. And then they found out that he was, like, a fucking freak. Yeah, I'm going and looking at pictures of him, dude. He oh. Was fucking disgusting. Well, the thing is, like, he would brag about, like, having sex with, like, teenagers and shit in, like, his books and stuff. And it was all, like, out of the open. It was, yeah, no, Britain is like, man, it's so ingrained there. And it's just, it's, it's just I, insane. I mean, yeah, maybe like 20 years ago, even 20 years ago, I bet you could go back and find like, of like somebody on a talk show host openly admitting to like fucking a teenager. Oh, probably. Like a celebrity. It's like, like, yeah, you go back and it's like all those like 70s, like sex comedies, like, uh, 
like Caddyshack and stuff like that, or even '80s comedies where there's just yeah. so there's just so many like, jokes about having sex with teenagers, and everyone's just, you're just supposed to laugh at it. <laughs> you're supposed to be like ha, 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 but then you're like, oh no, oh no, no, oh no, Jesus Christ! Yeah, Jimmy Seville does look like a pedophile. So. Yeah, it's so nuts in hindsight. I I don't like saying people look like pedophiles, but he looks like a. Pedophile. That guy looks like he looks like a nonce. Absolute nonce. Oh, looks like a fucking nonce. Looks like a boy bagger. You know, Jeffrey Epstein, for as gross of a guy as he was, you know, I don't think he wasn't handsome. He was handsome. <laughs> Is that your take? <laughs> He had a good look going, I'm just saying. <laughs> Bailey, you people t- age poorly, but, uh, <laughs> Bailey just you know, had to get that out there. Guy. <laughs> he probably could have gotten with plenty. Have you seen the picture of Jeffrey Epstein in the big... There's like some... Uh, what? I saw this on 4chan, I think, but it's a, it's a web um, and it's fucking Jeffrey Epstein in this big coat that's like playing uh, some like fucking rap song over it. <laughs> like, or some shit. It's so funny. <laughs> He's like wearing a big mink coat. He looks like a fucking rapper. Oh it's my awesome. god. Yeah. Dude, he's dripped up. He's got he's that drip. He's dripped up. My he's man. So much swag. Like, he looks like, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't say Jeffrey Epstein, cool guy. <laughs> but, uh, he just did. <laughs> kind of dripped up. He got he's that drip. <laughs> he's got drip. He's got drippy. He's... Hold on, let me send it to you <laughs> in your fucking DMs. It's a picture of him in a fucking big coat. He looks fucking <laughs> drippy, baby. <laughs> okay. He's got that drip. Oh dear. Hang on. I think is it the coat pick? I might have seen this. Hang on. Yeah, it's the coat pick where he's walking around. He's got swagger. Yeah. <laughs> See that? God, what a weird pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I think there's, I don't remember if there's an audio, I think it's from this, a video of him in this coat. Yeah. Where he gets in his car, and there's like a, a girl outside of his car, he's like, get lost, bitch, or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. It's so funny. Get lost, and, bitch. I mean, you gotta love Jeff, you gotta love him. For yeah, you him. gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta love him. I, I mean, not you don't love him for what he did, but you love you gotta you know he's a he's an antihero. <laughs> he was an anti-hero. Jared from Subway, hell of a guy. <laughs> Listen, here's what you could say. Okay, Je- Jared from Subway didn't have any swagger. He's ugly as fuck. He was literally morbidly obese for like half his life. God. Jared from Subway is a bitch. It's so funny that, like, he was addicted to food and then he got addicted to, like, fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that! I'm sorry, but, like, I just, just the being that fucked up. It's like, man, oh, just eat him. Just be fat. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Just be fat, dude. <laughs> Please go back to being fat. Please just go back to being fat. How is this an improvement? Dude, have you listened to the clip where she's he's talking about that? I... Like, it's some... The clip that, like, got him outed? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that shit is fucked. God. That shit is so fucked up to listen to. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he's like... This fucking random white bitch. This random white woman... Yeah, I heard you're a pedophile. <laughs> Do you want me to describe my kid to you? And it's like, what? Yeah, I don't want you to describe my kid to me. Oh. It's like some just like a random phone call, dude. They are not. They what? are not secretive about this at all. What the fuck? Oh my god. Speaking of like pedos getting busted, did you? Are you familiar with Doctor Pizza? Doctor Pizza. He was like a, he was like a journalist who got like he, he would. He was a guy on Twitter that we used to make fun of, and then it turned out that he was like a massive pedophile. Of course. And he's uh, like, he, no, I do not. he just oh, got. I have seen this You've picture. seen this dude? This picture. Yeah. You know what he looks like? You know what he looks like? He looks like that um, that fucking loser like YouTuber that does like game game shit, like game uh, less plays. He looks like uh, whatever Cox or whatever <laughs> Cox or whatever the fuck his name is. He used to do stuff with Total Biscuit. Oh but, man. Uh, yeah, he looks like a pedophile. God. He just, yeah, no, that guy, he used to just... 
he used to just have like these i don't like to use this word like virtue signaling f- like threads where he talked about like oh i just i'm into like i just hate all these pedophiles who like anime and then it turns out that he was like a pedo <laughs> Of course, because that's the type of people that constantly complain about that shit. God, Total... Oh. Pedophiles. It's, oh, I haven't thought about Total Biscuit in a while. Him, like... That's because he's, you know... Well, it's because he's dead, but, like, he... Him get... he Possibly the fact that he got cancer from, like, internet-related stress is just sad. You can do that? Well, Damn. he he was... He was a... He loved being mad online. You gotta understand. Oh yeah, that's he. True. That was a real problem for him. Was that he? He got very mad on the computer, and it's Except it for being mad online. Well, I'm uh, saying he might have developed like stress-related like colon cancer from it. That's so fucked. He. Jesus Christ. I don't even say that as like a, a, as taking like a joy in it or anything. Like no, it's very sad that he died that way. But like man, yeah, he fucked. he liked to get into it on the internet. It's depressing. It is sad. You know, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I wasn't, I was around for the Gamergate shit, but I wasn't really, I was in an age where I didn't really give a shit. Yeah. So I don't, um, quite, you know, people bring that shit up all the time and I know what happened, but also I don't really care about anybody that was a part of it. Uh, it's all but just, it's stupid bullshit for nerds. There's, no, there's, I'm yeah. Mad at uh, Anita Sarkeesian is kind of funny, and what's that <laughs> chick's name? Oh, I don't there's know. some trans chick oh. that made a shitty. She was like trying to run for senator at some time. Oh, Brianna Wu. Shitty video game. Brianna Wu. The fact dude, that oh, you played her game. I have not. The fact that she never broke kayfabe about being trans is like based, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's so based. That's like it's like actually for like the only cool thing about her. Butterf- the, uh, have, yeah, go ahead. Have you seen her game? I, dude, Revolution sixty, yes. Yes. That fucking the. Oh my god. It looks like a fucking cyberpunk brats installment. So good. It's incredible. <laughs> it looks incredible. I mean, it's. Didn't she have a Kickstarter for it? She like got oh, it funded. Something like that. People <laughs> fucking paid like up to like a like in the thousands. Of for that oh game. it cost like it cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars to make that game and it looks like it looks like the eiffel 65 blue video <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like that that's exactly what it fucking is dude yeah, oh my god it looks it's... like an xbox live arcade game from, like, <laughs> it does <laughs> that dude's face it's so bad Oh my god. You have to give trans women your money. <laughs> you have to. You, you know, I'm all for donating to people's uh, GoFundMes or whatever the fuck if they need something. But, um, you know, you don't have to fucking donate to every trans woman's shitty VN on oh, Kickstarter. Oh god. Please stop doing Cause they're all bad. My they're my all shitty. my side scroller where you run away from a metaphor for my anxiety. That was like, that was like the default indie game, but for a while it was like the uh, like the game equivalent of a student movie about hitmen. Just some hack shit. Oh my god, dude, that shit's awful. I mean, you know, there are times when it's done okay. I think Hellblade: Son of a Sacrifice is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, Yo, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hyperlight Drifter. Is pretty good, and it's just because Hyperlight Drifter like isn't entirely about that. Mm-hmm. Like it's got pretty fun gameplay. Yeah. But like there are so many games oh. where it's like I I made a game and it's two shapes and they're both <laughs> gay and they have gay sex. Is it a nice and thing? They feel bad because they're gay. They're trans and in love. <laughs> <laughs> tra- see the this this block has a penis. You can see it. It's an extension of the block, and the circle turns into a block later as a metaphor for being trans. <laughs> you just, like, finish, like, a game that has nothing to do with being trans, and you're like, well, it's about being trans. <laughs> well, well, this game, I would love it if the developers of Hatred... <laughs> <laughs> the world could not accept him as he was. <laughs> uh, fuck. You've cl- I, postal 
two is actually about being. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> my name is important. <laughs> it's, don't use my other name. That's my dead name. I'm Kristen now. <laughs> I'm gonna don't. Shoot, I'm gonna shoot everybody. <laughs> It's so got... Transporters <laughs> they do be loving that game. Uh, okay, Celeste is great, and the the um the fact that it's it's the trans shit is done very subtly. And it's very very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also the creator of it is, uh, or the composer I think, is trans. Hmm. Uh, and she's she's very nice, and her wife is also very. They make oh. very. Good. That's cool. What's the deal? I like it when um, yeah. trans people are really good at art. <laughs> that there's there's that hibernation period that they go into as they're transitioning, and they make good art while they're in their bedrooms. It's just a thing that I've taken exactly. notice of. Before they like, it's insane. It's they're very good at like synthesizer stuff. Yes. It's oh my god, dude! Uh, fucking black dresses is so good. I've listened to I, a little bit of that. Like, Black dresses is a. There's a specific song I really, really like. Um, yeah. I mean, you listen to a little bit, and then they ended. Uh, they stopped being a thing. Yeah. Because of TikTok. Of TikTok. Oh God. The 100 Gex chick is trans too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, she is. I didn't know that. Yeah, I only no. just found that out. I guess they modulate the voice so you can't tell. That's really cool. Yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I don't. I personally, I. Don't like fucking Andre Gex. Um, <laughs> Coward. I understand the appeal. Yeah. I understand it now. There was a moment when I was listening to it and I was high off my ass and I was like, I get it now. You get I it. I understand the appeal. But uh, I still don't think I would listen to it in the car. It's. But, uh, yeah. Uh, People. I had the same thing with Death Grips, but mm. I legitimately like Death Grips now. Yeah, no. The thing with Hundred Gex is people have a response. They're like, "Oh, this is what this is what our parents think pop music sounds like now," and it's like, "No, this is what pop music sounds like now." Yeah, this is this is what it sounds like. Yeah. I honestly think that it's going to start like a a new genre of like music, mm. like a, its own like subgenre of like noise music. Yeah. I do know Uboa, uh, Brockle Snare Hampton. Yes, I do know Uboa, a very good trans noise musician. It's a, yeah. Yes. They uh, that's just so fucked that uh, Brock Hampton let uh, 100 Gex open for them, and there's a video clip of it, and they're just all booing them. It's so sad. <laughs> it's like legitimately depressing. I'm trying to think of more contemporary trans music. Um, we got Vectroid, who's wonderful and drops in here sometimes. We will have her on. Um, we've got. <laughs> Um, the composer for one of the Alien movies was trans. Or really? Like some sci-fi movie from like the 80s. Are you thinking um, of Wendy Carlos? Because that's the only one that comes maybe. to mind. It might be Wendy Carlos. Let me let me look up. Because she did the score for uh, Clockwork Orange, and that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's her. Yes, I know you were thinking of her, yep. Wendy Carlos, she's also pretty pretty she, she doesn't look i haven't not, she does not look bad i have not seen pictures of her but uh another trans musician sewer slut is from i think adelaide do you know sewer slut mm-hmm. uh, i don't but i that absolutely sounds like a tr- it, <laughs> it oh it's like what if they managed to capture the feeling of like browsing 4chan in 2006 in music <laughs> it's beautiful go and listen to like the the awesome. latest album that she dropped it's so good so, uh fucking oh i just looked up sewer slut and now i'm looking at pictures of a eating shit well yeah oh my god this is a fucking oh my god this is an e fucked link oh, my... oh no no oh. no it's with a, it's with a v it's with a v the second oh. the slut is with a v oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh, my god. oh, Bailey, get out of there. Oh my god. Bailey. It's a fat, it's a fat middle-aged woman with big, like, pompadour-looking hair, and she's eating shit out of the Oh god, face. Bailey, no. Stop. I went to the image, that's all it was. Oh god, that's Bailey. That's all it was. Bailey, you're actually just watching right. the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna look up, um, new, s- the other sewer slut. Oh, cool, yeah. They all have this uh this style of drawing. All of them have like the the kind of yeah the kawaii sort of corrupted like kawaii drawing. Girl, but it's hyper fucked. Yeah. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait! Do you know them? Do I know them? 
Yeah, uh, you know them. I thought I saw them on Twitter. I before. am mutuals with them on Twitter, but I don't. don't no, I'm mutuals though. Okay. So I guess you could you could say okay. yeah. You could say I know them very well. I know of I them. <laughs> I'm going to look them up. On no, Twitter. sewer slud. Sewer slud is a uh, trans, but I don't think they've started transitioning, and that causes them to be very depressed. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That was the same with uh, fucking Donna for a while, which yeah. felt bad. Yeah. I love Donna. I love oh Donna. I love the the big novels that she writes in my mentions. <laughs> Donna, Donna sent me um. We were talking uh and and we were talking about Alien and I think she was maybe high or something. I don't know. Oh, but she sent me well. like literally a book worth of info. Oh on my Alien. god, I love I Donna like, so much. Just. Donna's is so sweet. It was adorable. I, and afterwards she was like, "I'm so sorry. I was." No, it was adorable. She, oh, God. When I was in, like, the hospital, because, like, I went to the hospital because I was, like, tripping really bad on LSD and I needed to be somewhere safe. This was the LSD trip, by the way. Uh, and I, I was, like, talking to Donna on Twitter. I was like, yo, I'm in the hospital. She was, like, writing me, like, huge blocks of test, like, text. And it's like, Donna, I can't understand words. Please stop writing these words. <laughs> <laughs> I can't process language. Oh God. Uh, she yeah, she she sent me a bunch of uh shit on on Alien, and, and I read a couple of I I like I like pieced through it. I sparsed through mm -hmm. it. I didn't read all of it, obviously, because I'm not. I don't read a lot of messages that are big. Yeah. Because I'm dyslexic and stupid. Yeah. So I did read a lot of it. It was very. She was basically like a Wikipedia machine. Oh, just alien, in alien incredible. And it's adorable. <sighs> <laughs> Do you know who Morgan Vogel? Did you ever encounter Morgan Vogel? Who's it? Morgan Vogel. She's pe she died this year, uh, but she was just she was an artist who was like everywhere. If you've ever seen that nine eleven video set to Yakety Sax, yeah, that she made that. She made the Crazy Frog nine eleven video. She's anytime I go down a rabbit hole, I inevitably bump into her. But she, yeah, she died this year. No, I didn't know her. No, she's... Sucks. It sucks, because she's such... She was, like, such an immensely talented, like, artist, and she was everywhere. Uh, what happened to her? Uh, she got isolated during quarantine, went missing, and uh, took her own life, unfortunately. Oh, my God, that's... It's awful. But she, yeah, she was, she was a pretty troubled person, but, like, a really brilliant artist. Yeah, that's, that's... It's very, yeah. So many... The, the sign of like a, a you know I think I think saying like hardship brings good art is like kind of stupid a lot of the time mm -hmm. but also like genuinely the some of the best artists that I know that make like like not so much the best technically yeah like you know what they draw isn't like fucking Picasso like I know plenty of many stable artists that draw really really well but yeah the shit that they draw doesn't mean anything. You know, yeah, yeah, um, I, get, I get what you're saying, yeah. It doesn't yeah. have any, like, deeper meaning. When somebody is, like, even if it's, like, Matt art, mm -hmm. I will still, like, eat that shit up because it's, like, got, it, it has something to it. Mm-hmm. It's just... I like that shit a lot. Oh, hell. Why am I fighting this dude? Um, it's like... Are you, you're familiar with, uh, Nico Jiru, right? Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Google it. You you might recognize the art, but she was a uh, like a Japanese artist who very likely had like a like an autism spectrum disorder, and it informs like a ton of her work, which was mostly just like observational stuff about like people and like life and stuff. But it was very very morbid, very cynical, and like really great, really really amazing art. And she she hanged herself. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen some of this stuff. Yeah. Damn. Fuck. A lot of these artists killed themselves, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense. It's... That is fucked. You've seen the cats. Uh, Nico Jiru. N-E-K-O-J-I-R-U. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. I got it pulled up. But there's a, a film that was made in, like, as a tribute to her called Cat Soup, which I think you can find on YouTube. It's about a half hour long, and it's animated. Really beautiful oh, movie. Yeah. So go watch that if you like animation. I 100% will. I fucking adore. It's... Oh shit! I've got to do. I've got to do some fucking 
math on work. When when should we fucking cut this? Yo, off? how how long do you have, man? Like, uh, I've I have so I have to finish it by twelve and eleven right now. <sighs> do you have to bail right now, or can you stay for like? No, no, no. Okay. I can stay for like probably like twenty minutes. All right, twenty minutes so. is fine. Yeah, we'll do another twenty with me, yeah. man. This has been really good. Yeah, I, I, you're good to have you on. I love having you on. I I hope I'm not like a fucking spurt right now. You're not at all, bro. No, you're like no, I no. <laughs> it's always a delight to have you here. Good. Good. I'm sure that there are plenty of other guests that are not uh, as fucking like awkward as I am. <laughs> you're not awkward at all, bro. It's cool. Okay, cool. No, you're... good. I I worry about that shit. No, it's... I don't know why. As long I, I get in my own head, especially about online shit. Oh, my my brain, it's a, it's an OCD thing, but, like, any time I have, like, a good night out and I go home and lay down, I just have to lay there and be like, okay, how did I fuck this up? Like, and I have to just go... Yeah, I do that too. I have to just go over everything and be like, okay, did this joke land properly? Do they really... Do, do, they, do people think I'm annoying? And it's just like, oh, God, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I, I basically I've gotten to the point where I'll just text people like, "Hey, I'm really sorry." Oh, I, I don't do that anymore because I, I used to like need like validation from people and just be like, "Yo, do you do you like me? <laughs> yeah. Do you like spending time with me? <laughs> We're friends, I, I right?" Just, I don't know, man. I just, uh, I just don't want to be a bother to people. Uh, that's like, just, oh, it it would just like it would fuck me up so bad. I would just be like, oh, I hope I'm not annoying people. I hope I'm not too much, but it's never gotten me in trouble, so it should be okay. <laughs> oh, man. I just thought, yeah, I was just like, no, not every thought in my brain is real. Yeah, I don't have to, like, no, them blinking three times is not code for them saying that I completely fucked up their night and I should kill myself. <laughs> That's how it be. Yeah, it is, uh, exactly Wait, what? What? I just I fell asleep and died. Whoa! <laughs> Hell yes. This game is perfect. I love it. It's, yeah, no. Yeah, I saw, um... Yeah. What's his name? Fucking, the, the developer or the designer for the game fucking liked, liked your tweets with the clips. Yeah. It was about gay sex. I was thinking of me sucking my own dick and fucking liked it. I was like, Oh my God. He's I I don't Jesus I don't know if Sawyer is gay. Is Sawyer gay? I know I thought Chris Avalone was gay for a long time, but I know. So the thing with Sawyer is that he fought very hard to include LGBT characters in this game, and I appreciate that because they're very good yeah. characters. Like even people who don't like seeing like gay characters in media will be like, oh, these characters are very well written. There's more to them than being gay, and it's like that's cool. Yeah. He's an ally. I think uh, a lot of the times they're like done very poorly, but in New Vegas they're done surprisingly. They're d it's like, very yeah. Every, every character in New Vegas is very good. They're all very they're very, all good. very yep. good. No, there's a lot of <laughs> gay characters in this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the apocalypse. At one point, <laughs> you gotta get gay. It's not really mattering. You kind you kind of need to get some head, bro. Some fucked up radiated head. Uh, who's gay in Fallout New Vegas? I think Manny Vargas is gay. Arcade is gay. Uh, Veronica's a lesbian. Her girlfriend's a lesbian. Um, yeah, there's a lot of gay characters in this now that I think about it. There's a lot of them. They are... They are, uh, it is a game filled with homos. It is, and they yeah. are done so much better than, like, in Fallout 4. Shit. Oh man, the, the Bioware thing where the <laughs> we have the character just come up and be like, "Hello, I'm trans." I fucking ah! Oh! <laughs> You're remembering? So fucking bad now. Don't make me think about that shit. Oh god. It's so bad. He just starts talking I about never, his dead husband, and then you're like having sex I with him. I've never even fucking played Mass Effect 2, but I have played Mass Effect Andromeda, and I wanted to shoot myself. Mm-hmm. Major Knight. I, I, I can't remember who Major Knight is in this game. Oh. Uh, somebody say in the, in the fucking Twitch chat? Manny Vargas is gay, yeah, he's in love with Boone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Pining for a straight man. Dear me. <laughs> oh, 
Who isn't in love with Boone? I don't know. Uh, Bailey, you, can you do a subscription drive? Can you ask in your sweet voice? Yes. Hey, guys. Can you guys please subscribe? Please? <laughs> we haven't gotten a lot to this. We need to, you guys need to hit all the buttons, please. Can you hit the follow button? Please can you hit the sub. Can you hit the sub button, please? please? I really whore out, but please. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Listen, I promise, I swear to God, I will do the fucking maid thing this time. Yo, King. Love it. I'm actually going to do the maid thing. Alright. Oh I my god. I, I just had to shave, I swear to god. Uh, you wrote back to me, like, you, when I asked you, you were like, LOL, okay, and all caps, and I was like, oh god, I made him mad at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I was not mad. I was mad. I was going home one time, and I just, like, didn't want to fucking write out a response. <laughs> And write it, a, especially write a description of why I hadn't done it at the time. <laughs> I can't afford fucking Bazinga. shaving cream. Yo. You can't. Hey, I will do it. You don't seem like you would get that hairy, especially at this point. Dude, I, you know, I don't get that hairy, but, but it's still, I got hairy to the point where it was noticeable. You still gotta, like, if you want to be completely not hairy oh. for a while, you gotta shave yeah. pretty regularly. Thank you so much for the uh, subs, guys. Keep them coming. Please sub. Please. Please, please keep subscribing. Hail to the king, baby. Please keep hitting all the buttons. Thank you so much. Wait a minute. You're supposed please. to say that. <laughs> you, yeah, you're not you supposed to. to get you should shut up. Uh -huh. Here we go. Subscribe. Hype trade! Baby. Woo! Get it going. Keep it going. Keep right, it going. I gotta go back. Come on, guys. Please. please. All right. Here's... I will fucking... Mm -hmm. What should I do? I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta tempt them. What do you got? <laughs> People in the chat. People in the chat. Give me shit. Yeah. Give me shit to do. Bailey will. Chat paused. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Bro, where the fuck is? Follow Dan. Follow Dandy Man on Twitter. Dandy Man. Good old Dandy Man. Who's Dandy Man? Dandy Man's cool. I have to find. Oh, I that just looked up Candyman. 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 I don't know where the fuck. Uh, is it just Dandyman? Like I, I think it would be. Yeah. Yeah, you I gotta, gotta you gotta it. find Jimmy Kimmel and apologize for what you did. Okay, I will murder Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I, mean, I will find <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel and I will. I I tweeted out uh after after I got um. Fucking suspended. I tweeted out, um, I think my first tweet was, Man, I sure do love Jimmy Kimmel. I'm going to find where he lives and move in next to him so we can hang out. <laughs> you should do it, dude. Hey, please, guys, please tell him. You know that you can't, like, that you can't, like, threaten to kill people on Twitter, right? Especially I, blue checks. The king, baby. They're fucking losers. You cannot be They're mean to blue checks. Lame. It's they not suck my fucking uh, dick. I like even though I even like blue checks piss me off, but you will get got if you are fucking rude to them. Like it, it's one of those things. It's just one of those things that's fucking sucks about Twitter. Just start to fucking beat into their I'm pretty sure that fucking faggot, Jimmy Kimmel, has a little assistance team. It goes through and checks if there are any tweets threatening him because he's such a bad fucking comedian and he's so unfunny. That's he's probably a it. Fucking shithead. There are no good like I, I don't I, I literally can't name a single good like talk show host besides if you count like uh, fucking Eric Andre. I kind of liked uh or no I kind of like Conan. Conan's okay. Conan's all right, but yeah, late night Conan fucking sucks. Okay. Colbert got real Conan. bad. Colbert's so bad! Man. It's so bad now, dude. We were... Trump fucking oh. things fucking, like, a political comedy, I guess, for, like, several, four years at least. I wonder if things will get better under Biden. Maybe late night will get good again. Probably not, but, you know. I doubt it. Man. <laughs> You've seen Strangers with Candy, right? Uh, maybe? I think you retweeted a clip of it that I posted about... about Gay, I probably did. Gay people are retarded. <laughs> There's a sh <laughs> the, oh, I put. I'll, I'll retweet the oh, clip. Retweet I'll retweet that, that so that uh, everyone yes. can see it. Oh, it's. 
I had fucking a, love that clip. No, I, I never. Uh, I I never uh, watched. Oh, if you like, but I know what you're talking. If about. you like like come town and like absurd humor like that, go and watch the show Strangers with Candy. It's what it's the funniest fucking thing, and it's just there's no point to it at all. It's just oh, surreal oh, humor. Man. So funny. And um, Stephen Colbert's in it, and he's like really funny. Perfect. I mean, I don't think he's like inherently not funny. I think he just isn't funny anymore. <laughs> no, it's it's just he's not funny because he's like a, a liberal comedian now, and it's like he's he's like the, the horrible lib comedian now. Lib comedy is fucking awful. Ugh. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I think he was right. I think he had a tweet earlier where he was like talking about feeling bad for Trump or something. Yeah, all the libs are writing what? tweets like that now. They're like, "Oh, I just I feel bad for shut Donald up. Trump." Stop talking. Holy shut the fuck up, you fucking loser. You and won. Hey guys, 40 seconds, please. Please Double give us some more bits. bits. Give us some. Bailey will lick the microphone if you do it. I will I will breathe into the microphone and do ASMR if you sub in oh, the next oh God. 30 seconds. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, Come on. 21. Donate your kidney. Give something. Come on, guys. 15, 16. I'm I think the game just uh, broke. I will. Of course. It <laughs> Joe Biden. Of course it All right. This. No! Yo. No! All right, that can be. That's that's a good way. That's a good exit for you, Bailey. I think. Um, All right. Thank do you. I have so, to do the ASMR into the mic because I said. Yeah, up. you actually do have to do the ASMR into the mic. Thank you for the sub, guys. Very sweet. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, Bailey, do you want to do you want to hawk your account again? Yes. Follow my fucking account that's not deleted. Please go follow what? at punished post. At punished post, all one word. Uh, Bailey, you got anything you want to like shill or anything? Um, if you want to watch a shitty YouTube video, look up Big Bits on YouTube, and then watch uh, the video Sal by Big Bits on YouTube. Okay. Nice. I did that in like eleventh grade, and I don't <laughs> think anybody's seen it. So I just like I just think it'd be funny if a bunch of people just started watching it now. Um <laughs> fucking And uh, uh yeah, that's it. And Bailey, can we expect to have you on again? Of uh, fucking of course you can. Yeah, ooh, thank you so I much. I'd love to be back on. All right, guys. See you later. And uh like uh, follow and subscribe if you're new here. Hit all those buttons, please. Thank you so much. Please, please. Goodbye, gamers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.